Oh, but you meet such colorful characters in taxis, like, like Alex Rieger and Tony, and that funny foreign guy who worked in a garage. Rieger, cab 402. Nardo, you and your luscious melons are in 315. Now get the hell out of here, you losers. Hey, Louie, what about the foreign guy? No way, Banta. He's a nut job. Come on, Louie. Show a little compassion for once in your miserable life. All right. Can of waterworks. Jackie Chan, cab 302. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, you know, you people are nothing like the communists they show on TV. We now return to the communists. I hear report cards were handed out today. What were your grades? Uh, uh, uh. Quit Stalin and answer your father. <laughs> Go ahead, honey, and tell us your marks. Boy, Khrushchev. Did somebody say Khrushchev? You notice? People will do anything for a beautiful person. Yeah, you know, come to think of it. Hi, I'm on a scavenger hunt, and I need a human foot. Well, as a rule, I would say no, but okay, come in. So, uh, so this is what? This is for, like, a school project? Ah! 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 It's just, I, I, I've been trying to teach Chris how to be a man, you know? First, I tried teaching him how to eat an Oreo. Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. Then I tried teaching them how to get out of paying a check. Uh, waiter? There's a dead guy in my soup. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Of course your soup is gratis. Thank you. Now your turn. Waiter, there's a dead guy in my... Ah! Ah! All of a twit, if you ask me. I would have done things rather differently, I can tell you that. Please, sir, I want some more. What? Please, sir, I want some more. More? All right, stop it. Stop it right there. Now, go on, fill up the bowl. Go on! That's it. Now, put on this dress. Put it on! Now... Dance. I regret not going to my junior dance. But, but, Daddy, if you don't do what they say, they'll kill me. Sorry, Pumpkin, you know we don't negotiate with kidnappers. Family policy. Daddy, no! Please, please! She'll be all right. <sighs> Lois has had the car all week, and it's just been hell getting around. I actually had to rent a Mustang. God, I haven't seen everyone this miserable since that time we were tortured. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. W w were you just whipping me, or did I just, did I just get bit by a mosquito? Hey, Lois, if, if, you, if you happen to see the dungeon master, can you, can you tell him his grandmother was just trying to work me over? Or I'm a retired baseball umpire who opens a bar. At the center of the earth. You know, we don't get many of you molten rock men in here. Well, at these prices, I'm not surprised. That's it, pal. You are out of here. <laughs> this is my fourth trip today. Just this morning, I went to Kentucky. Wait, 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 wait a second. You're telling me I flew all the way to Kentucky to get some of your fried chicken and, and the colonel isn't even working today? He, we, he did. What? I say he did. Is Mr. Sanders in? What's wrong with you? I say you, he did. The Colonel! All right, then everyone will get to see me and my wacky antics. Black! God, this is worse than having Ronald McDonald for a father. Bye, Dad. Don't wait up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lisa. Come back here. You're not going out with all that makeup on. But, Dad... Upstairs.
You're a McDonald, not a whore. Even better than that dad on Lost in Space. We need to gather more information about this new planet. Don, you take my 16-year-old blonde daughter out in the chariot for the rest of the day. Penny, you stay here with me. And Will, you and the robot go out into the uncharted wilderness and take this mincing boy-hungry pedophile with you. This year I'm gonna try a more natural alternative. Ah, 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 sorry, Dr. Lang, I, I, I guess I'm nervous. This whole thing is a little weird. Ah, never you fear, laddie book. I've been doing this all my life. You see, the reason your fleas are drawn to you is your kidney energy is being blocked by a dark chi, or what we call in my country, we Fung Chao Hu. Hey, Doc, you have to keep those two boxes right next to each other. Why? What do they say? I think we're through here. It'll give me time to catch up on my reading. Oh, usually there are so many distractions. Come into my home, will you? Show you, you bastard. This isn't the first time I've been thwarted by my small statue. Okay, our next lot is number 15 in your program. This is a one-of-a-kind item, a super mega death ray. It's got the power to enslave the entire human race. Do we have an opening bid? Anything? We'll take any bid. It can enslave the human race? Come on, people, it's solid titanium. You! Over here in the back! Do I hear $100? Oh, come on. $5? All right, free? Enslave the human race, doesn't cost you a dime. Behind the fat chick. Nope. Go! Okay. <laughs> you never win anything. Remember when you went on password? This one is for Peter Griffin and Tony Randall. The password is flaming. You? Actor. You? Tony? You? A lot of famous people have done it. My son, your place is here in the Ice Village. You know nothing of Hollywood and its ways. But father, I have dreams and courage and the name of an excellent cosmetic surgeon. Fear not, someday word will reach you about the success of me, the great Eskimo actor, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Green door, Just gonna let them recast me? Hey, it could have been worse. They could have gone with plan B. <laughs> Brian, put a mask on. I have an announcement. Meg Griffin's plane was shot down over the Sea of Japan. It spun in. There were no survivors. Who do I see about the Section 8? And you even managed to humiliate me there. <laughs> Whoa, is that really the blood of Christ? Yes. Man, that guy must have been wasted 24 hours a day, huh? Oh, what? A lot of these famous types lead secret lives that we don't even know about. Like Ricky Martin. Ricky, love you, love you. One minute to curtain, Jewel. We'll move to England. Eh? Worst they got there is, uh, you know, drive-by arguments. I say, Jeremy, isn't that Reginald B. Stiffworth, a young upstart chap who's been touting the merits of a united European Commonwealth? Why, yes, I dare say that's the fellow. Oh, let's get him. Oh, Reginald! I disagree! Oh, God, kill me now. Hello. Karen! It's gonna be my greatest victory ever. Except for the time I defeated my evil twin. Not me, Lois. Shoot him. I'm the real Peter. I don't know. Lois, look at me. You know your own husband, don't you? Thank God you made the right choice, honey. What was that? Nothing. Lois, you can't quit. What if Kurt Cobain had quit? Thank you. And remember, say no to drugs. Great concert, Kurt. The label's excited about your seventh album. Thanks. Oh, you remember my wife, Courtney Love? Who? Oh, ask your mom. I'm not very good with tough decisions. We'll be closing in two minutes. <laughs> Cleveland, there is no mob. You're thinking of the mob in the movies. 
How am I funny? I, I don't know. You, you say funny things. No, no, I mean, I'm, what, am I George Carlin funny? Am I Spin City funny? Rita Rudner funny? What? Come on. Rita Rudner funny. Yeah, Rita Rudner funny. Really? Oh, my God, thank you. You can write off medical stuff? Oh, jeez, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have used that discount surgeon. Uh, I'm not sure which one to cut here. The red one or the b blue one? Okay, okay, just relax, just relax. Let's see. Uh, uh, first, why don't you attach that green one to that purple one? <sighs> okay, here goes. Oh, God! That kill me? Uh-huh. Yeah, I was afraid of that. All right, try the green one and the blue one. Come on, we gotta get back. The cameramen think we're taking Chris to soccer practice. We're gonna be late. Why won't you talk to me? Yeah, I was terrified of asking Phoebe Diamond to the prom. I finally got up the guts, but I, I had this damn nervous twitch. Um, F Phoebe? Yeah? Uh, I, I was wondering if if, if you'd uh, d do me the honor of... Uh... And after my grandfather helped create one of this country's most beloved cartoon characters. Okay, we've narrowed it down to two possible names. Uh, all in favor of Bugs Bunny? Mm -hmm. And all in favor of Ephraim the Retarded Rabbit. <laughs> oh, you can all go to hell. Come on, Lois. Jeez, this is gonna be worse than that time we had to sit through your Uncle Jerry's snuff film. Are, are they really gonna kill that girl? Peter, please. People are trying to watch. This is Atlantic City all over again. You've got 20. Hit me. Peter, don't. Hit me. 21. Hit me. Peter. Hit me. That's 30. Hit me. Now, now, hold on, Lois. Now, people do a lot of crazy things just to be accepted. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know about this. Hey, we all did it. If you want to be a Supreme Court justice, you got to pick up that cherry with your butt cheeks and drop it in that beer. Come on. Come on. Do it. Go shoot it. Go shoot it. Go shoot it. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. So in! Hey, I've gotten people to believe crazier things. And if you are pure of heart and deed, you'll all go to a beautiful place called heaven. <laughs> I'm yanking you. You're just rotting the ground. How was your day? Uh, my day? Hey. Hey. You okay there, Mr. Crocodile? Huh? Wake up, wake up, wake up. You need some lotion, Mr. Badskin? Huh? Huh? Yeah, there you go. Ah! 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 Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! 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 Talking about, I'm a born leader. Like my great great uncle, Ulysses S. Griffin. Juggle up, juggle up, juggle up, juggle up. Yeah! Woo! How's that, Robert E. Lee? All right, no more slaves. But we still don't have to read books. Deal. Yeah! The last time he left Dad home alone, he turned the house into a giant puppet. Hey! Hey! Stay out of here. Hey! Nobody, Nobody better, better come in here. I'm the Griffin's, Griffin's house. house. Bring, Bring me, me a tool shed, shed or I am hungry. hungry. That's it. Time for Doggy to go the way of Old Yeller. Old Yeller, did I get a call from Tony? Oh, yeah. He, uh, he left a message. I forgot to tell you. Is it on the machine? I erased it. All right. Out back. No, Ma. Yeller's my dog. I'll do it. Oh, come on. He'll call back. If I were big, oh, just think where I would be. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Big and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. And undercover to get rid of the toad problem, so your school can be safe and innocent, like the good old days. Negative B plus or minus radical B squared minus 4AC over 2A. That's correct. A girl answered a math problem. You know what that means. A witch! 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 Well, you might want to bring some cash with you, because, you know, some places don't take credit cards. But, mister, I need real money. I can't take a credit card. Oh, I see. Cash only, eh? Eh? No paper trail, eh? What are you selling? Reefer? Crack? Smack? Horse? X? Shrooms? Dust? Meth? In my neighborhood? I don't think so. <laughs> 
Chris. You don't want to mess with drugs. I tried them once. Big mistake. Things got way too real. Holy crap, I am freaking out. Well, I guess you're not the first person to do whatever it takes to win. You come to me and ask me to kill a man I do not know. Now I ask you, why should I kill this Count Chocula? Because that son of a bitch has been spreading lies. My cereal does not cut the roof of your mouth. With all respect. You know, I was quite a troublemaker myself when I was a kid. Look, you, your parents will be home any minute. Are you sure you don't want me to clean up this mess? No, no, no. Go, go. It'll be funny. Oh, it's when have we ever had trouble communicating? Oh, Peter, I love you. Yeah, about a quarter past five. Maybe a pool is another one of those things our family doesn't really need. Look, everybody, I got us another dog. What the? Hi, you guys have any cheese doodle? <laughs> See, that's what I do. I ask for a snack and then I blow the horn. You know, before I was married, I led a very exciting life. <gasps> oh, my God. The actress who was the girl in Escape from Witch Mountain. I don't want to go. I had a bad experience with a fish once. <gasps> oh, my God. My fish is gone. And he robbed me. What if something happens to you? I'm too old to start dating again. Okay, bachelor number one. I'm an ice cream cone. How are you gonna eat me? I'd invite my friend Rudy over and the two of us would give you a double dip. Ooh, okay, bachelor number two. Well, I'd lick off all the cream and give you my special whipped topping. <laughs> Sounds good, bachelor number three. Well, I would try to eat you really fast before I got flaccid. Ah, so beautiful. It's almost as if this world was created especially for me. You think he's onto us, Kristoff? No, he's an idiot. Hey, hey, at least you have a dad. When I was growing up, it was just me and my mom. Oh, looks like somebody's hungry. Oh, right. I mean, really, what could possibly happen if you left me home by myself? Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. I meant to have a cheese doodle, but whatever, it's a party. Yeah, but it's not her fault. She just doesn't want to see me fall in with a tough crowd again. <gasps> Gavity creeps! We make holes in the teeth! We make holes in the teeth! What, what'd you do, sell your body to science? Because, uh, you know, I, I've thought of doing that. All right, uh, Jenny, would you come up here and show us where the femur is? Oh, get out of here, you little bastard. I know this was the right thing to do. My son Chris is in charge of our space program. We hope to get to the moon very shortly. Almost. Ow! They should really use monkeys for this. Peter, we've got to do something. If Meg doesn't get into college, who knows what kind of future she'll have. You ain't getting this meat. This is my meat. Shut up. I found this meat. There have been scandals in politics ever since Thomas Jefferson. Oh, oh hold, hold on, hold on. Honey, let's get all the kids in this. Every year she wins and rubs it in my face. Don't worry, sweetheart. There's always next year. Congratulations on second place, Lois. Yeah, I had one when I was in high school. That'll be twenty-seven fifty. I haven't felt this crappy since the time I went to that museum. Why did all the dinosaurs die out? Because you touch yourself at night. I'll tell you, being on this campus really brings back memories. <gasps> Cowards! Well, Brian, at least you're loyal enough to stay with me. Ah, I've stuck by you through worse. Now I know how Barbara Streisand must have felt the day she married James Brolin. I love you. I love you, too. Ah, oh, I'm so glad I married a regular person and not a celebrity. I knew that name. Damn you, Entertainment Tonight! 
Hi, I'm Bob Goen, and these are Mary Hart's legs. Mary, you recently spent some time with Julia Roberts, didn't you? Mary says yes. Last time I did any male bonding was when me and Cleveland went to Chinatown. Look, for forget how it happened. Can you just get us out of this? He's gonna grow up to be quite a man. Mm, that was incredible, Kevin. I'm not here to impress you. Am I, Dad? Did I say you could rest yet, thing? Oh, oh, you mean that growth? Yeah, yeah, I, I had the doctor look at that. Mr. Griffin, that isn't a growth. That's your penis. Oh. Well, what about the, uh... Testicles. Huh. Like your great, great, great uncle Jabba the Griffin. Raja Nabadu, I go la walkie nipple pinchy. Got headphones so I can watch my Steven Seagal movies without waking Bonnie. Yes! Lock and load! Lock and load! Bring on the pain! I mean, I mean, you were pretty bad in bed Saturday night. Come on, Lois, move or something. She's just like doing it with a pillow. Peter, I stayed at my mother's that night. Oh. Especially Stewie. He's so impressionable. Oh, my God, please tell me we didn't do it. Well, you know, when I was your age, we had way better drinking games. Ow! Ah, uh, you drink. We'll probably have to buy a gift. And you know how bad I am when it comes to buying gifts. Happy freaking birthday, Lois. Oh, my goodness. It's a... Uh, another sword. Thank you, Peter. Go ahead. Try it on. Trust me, Chris. Sometimes it's better not to fit in. You're all stupid. See, they're gonna be looking for army guys. I spend my refund on a plug-in playmate. So, a school teacher. That, that must be interesting. First they took our bar, now they're taking our friendship. What's next, apple pie, fast cars, and action films? It was a glorious summer in Oxford when I met Freddie Cavendish, a most remarkable young man whose friendship will change my life forever. You are the anchor that gives my spirit license to soar. Come on, there's worse things in life than rain. Like, uh, like, like spiders. Oh, he's behind the door. <coughs> Peanut, he's bothering everyone. Say something. Say something, I'll kick his ass. Someone ought to kick his ass. Don't go in there. Peter. All right, all right, give me a Kleenex. I knew he was bad. I knew it. Ah! Uh, there's nothing these kids learn in school they can't learn on the street. It's 3 o'clock. Where the hell is Louie? Well, you tell me. Louie left his house at 2.15 and has to travel a distance of 6.2 miles at a rate of 5 miles per hour. What time will Louie arrive? Depends if he stops to see his hoe. That's what we call a variable. Oh, come on. You're our best friend, Peter. Besides, I can remember a time when you saved all our butts. Mm-mm. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, too bad I didn't get there till after the shot of me. Hey, I'm your man. But I gotta warn you, I made some enemies on the hill. And that's when Clarence Thomas forced me into his chambers and showed me lewd pictures. <laughs> Mr. Griffin, we have indisputable evidence that not only have you never been in the same room as Clarence Thomas, you, you've never been in the same state. How do you respond to that? Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Howard Stern's penis, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Makes perfect sense, Lois. You know how much time I've spent on the ocean. Well said! What are we gonna do now? Wilson! Wilson! My name is Voigt, dumbass. Because if I blow this, I'm gonna have to go back to my old job at the electric company. Duh. At. Dot. Buh. Et. Bet. Bet. I, I knew that. Slow it down. Huh. It. Pit. Pit. Uh, come on, pal. It's my first day. Uh. At. Fat. Oh, that's it, buddy. It was more boring than when I was a security guard for George Harrison. Charles in charge of our days and our nights. Charles in charge of our wrongs and our rights. And I say, I want Charles in charge. Hey, hey, hey! Quiet down up there. You wacky beetle. Have the quick stretch first. Ooh, damn. Must have pulled something playing hoops last week. I know you're not putting that rock up from here. You ain't got no J. Yo, 
man, that's tripping. Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass. I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you going to act? Sheesh. Bringing that trash in here. This is my house. You know, he's the spokesman for his entire industry. Yes, though I must say, I've always dreamed of a life at sea. I'm the greatest captain of the Queen's Navy. And your record will stand as proof. Be it galleon or freighter, I'm an expert navigator. And you're also a world-class proof. My manner quite defeat is mistaken on the street for a sailor who can pirouette on cue. Well, despite your point of view, I can thrill a girl or two. But I'd rather get it on with you. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, as brothers and sisters fighting is as natural as a white man's dialogue in a Spike Lee movie. What's up? Can I get two slices of pepperoni? It's the most wonderful thing that could happen to this family. Hmm. Well, the Phillies won. Oh, man, they got these little plastic dish guns. I haven't seen one of these since Cleveland's wedding. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the joining of these two young people <laughs> in the bonds of holy matrimony <laughs> consecrated before God Almighty. <sighs> oh, boy, do we have some good times. Here it comes, buddy. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! Oh! What are the odds? Ah! Hey, look at this, Lois. It's our pet rock. Ah, I remember the first day we brought it home. See that? Huh? Huh? Bad rock. Bad. We do that outside. Look at him. He knows what he did. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time you've disrupted a performance. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I didn't see it. It jumped right out in front of my car. Oh, I am so sorry. Wow, that's some nose you got. Yeah, one time it almost got me a spokesman deal. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I No, that, that, that was good. I, I just, I, I didn't think you were going to go so cartoony with it. Well, how, how, how would you read it? Oh, I, I don't know. I was thinking of doing it, you know, good, like, like an actor. But, you know, your, your way's good, too. Talk to me sometime, sweetheart. I know what it takes to be cool. She packed my bags. Last night, pre-flight. Zero hour. 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high. As a kite by then. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning out his fuse out here Alone And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again To find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh, no, no, no I'm a rock it man Rocket man Burning out his fuse out here Alone Oh, yeah that's the good stuff. Because a black knight is just a big jerk. Just like that guy who fixed our vacuum. There you go, all fixed. <laughs> Turns out a half-eaten meatball was clogging up the intake. Oh. Well, did you save it? Uh, no. You bastard. I dare say I should embrace the idea of having a little brother. After all, it's obvious we'd make quite a formidable team. <laughs> <laughs> now 
Nothing bad ever happens when you're asleep. In fact, sometimes good things can happen. Oh, Jenny. Jenny. Oh, yeah, Jenny, don't stop. Oh, Richard, Jenny, your HBO comedy specials have brought pleasure to millions. And what a sweet ass. Pathetic my life is. I've, I've seen that behind the music with Leif Garrett 18 times. Hey, uh, hey, Leif. Uh, it's been a while. Too long, man. I'm so sorry about everything, man. I I'm so... Ready for a bombshell? You saved my life that night. But, but I was driving. I... I was on a road to destruction, man. The accident may have crippled me, but I'm alive, aren't I? Yeah. Can we turn off the cameras, dude? I'm really cutting loose, just like Julie Andrews in that movie where she showed her breasts. Oh, Mary, you'll never leave us, will you? Yes, those are lovely, but it doesn't quite answer our question. What? Yeah, the new owners gave everyone raises. Even Kenneth, the badass mail clerk with the heart of gold. Hi, Kenneth. Hey, did I get any mail? No, and if you come any closer, I'll slice you. Okay, okay. Man, what a badass. Yeah, well, that badass just gave half his paycheck to orphans. Orphans with diseases. Peter, I'll, I'll make it up to you. I have a cousin who works at Club Med. Me mind on fire. Me soul on fire. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Nigel's charming. All British men are. Yeah, right. That's what they said about Benjamin Disraeli. You don't even know who I am. Whoa, how'd you get that? I spent the night with Mr. Burler. Oh, the sun's up. I'm safe for another night. Thanks, Meg. I missed the good old days when you were my sidekick. Uh, so she hated my tie until I told her it was made out of 100% Buttafuoco fiber. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, Brian, how about a little Thai music? Peter's Thai, Peter's Thai, that's because Peter's the guy. All right, that's it, no time music. Hee hee! Yeah! So, Peter, where should we go for your week off? Well, I, I was thinking we could all go to Purgatory like we did last year. This isn't bad. It's not that good, but it's not that bad. It's so-so. Yeah, more or less. I just hope it goes okay. We've had some bad luck with dinner guests. You remember when Margot Kidder was here? Oh, we loved you in the Superman movies. You were just wonderful. I've never been defeated. Except once. seen you since high school. <laughs> God, well, what are you doing these days? Uh, I'm the red guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I'm, I'm the green guy. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got it. Hey, is that Stacy Beecham? Where? I say, look at me. I feel like a regular grease monkey. Hey, remember that time I had that Mustang? Oh, yeah, you, you took it for the spin that time. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Uh, then those chowder heads on the corner, they busted your stones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your sister say anything about me? I certainly am not overreacting. What the devil do you think happened to Bobby when they added Cousin Oliver to the Brady Bunch? Oliver, did you break this vase? No, the floor did. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Hey, everybody, I... Bobby, you get back in the garage. No! Oh, foul! Oh, that's a stupid call. And I know something about stupid calls. Uh, hello? Uh, Lois, I can't take out the garbage because I'm at the office and, and they're making me stay late. Peter, the caller ID says you're calling from the kitchen. In fact, I can see you. Can you see me now? No. Okay, now I'm at the office. I can't believe your father organized this. Usually he can't even handle simple tasks. Peter? Why is there a diaper in the lamp socket? Oh, Lois, he's done it again! Wait a minute. Ha! This is great. We haven't done anything together like this since we saw Mike Tyson get beat. All right, Mike. The word again is onomatopoeia. Uh, C. 
I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh, dang. Hey, since I became president, profits have been higher than Alyssa Milano. <laughs> what kind of cheap shot, Joel? I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm on it, I'm on it. Exactly what we need. Hey, wait a second. Didn't we just make a fat, stupid guy president? You bet we did. Gentlemen, our new tobacco lobbyist is that guy. Diamonds, daisies, snowflakes, that guy. Chestnuts, rainbows, springtime. Is that guy? He's tinsel on a tree. He's everything that every guy should be. Geez, I haven't been to California since I lived with my other family. Guys, I just got invited to a party at Sharon Tate's house. And you guys can come, but you gotta promise not to embarrass me. Peter, I am not a sideshow attraction. At least not anymore. Me like it bouncy! Me like it bouncy! I was totally humiliated in school today. Okay, we're gonna do a little informal survey here, kids. Would those of you who are going away for spring break please move to the left of the room? Oigan, quienes que van a spring break, pasen la izquierda, por favor. Wow, the business world sure is funny. Hey, Dilbert, what do you call it when a guy in middle management moves all the way to upper management? I don't know. What do you call it? A promotion. Oh, thanks. Here's a memo. Well, sometimes the business world's funny. Talking about, I'm better than him at everything. You name it, sports, video games, even magic tricks. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> Calm down, Chris. It's only a trick. Bastards turned a whole generation of Americans into smokers with their damn subliminal advertising. Timmy, where's Lassie? She's out in the orchard, Ma. Peaches are coming in mighty early this year. Smoke. You know what they say, Timmy. Early peaches, long summer. Smoke. What's that, Lassie? Are you smoking yet? I hope he doesn't wait and get your gift at the last minute again. My goodness, a human thumb. Where did you ever find this? It was on eBay. <laughs> oh, God, call an ambulance. Don't you worry, Lois. I'll set him straight. Just like I did with Chris. Dad, what's the blowhole for? I'll tell you what it's not for, son. And when I do, you'll understand why I can never go back to SeaWorld. Well, I guess it couldn't be worse than last year when we all went to SeaWorld. <laughs> and how long has this been going on? Oh, wow. Imagine me, president. <laughs> How'd you get these blueprints? Oh, your mother has her ways. She has her ways. Can I have the blueprints to the D'Amico house? Sure, here you go. Oh, yes, I've often fantasized about what this house would be like with more culture. The port is quite good. Yes, quite good. Indeed. Most certainly. What year is it? 51. Ah. Delectable. Indeed. Yes. Oh, dear. What is it? I've spontaneously combusted. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, it's quite all right. I've grown tired of living. Ah, very good then. For the best. Yes, indeed. Oh, is it raining again? I've never gotten that kind of respect before. Great workout, Bobby. Up your sack breath. That's Mr. Griffin. Come on, Lois. When have I not been there for you? Get out of the damn car! Now! Screaming you're dead. Thanks for the ride, lady. Yeah, this is gonna be even more exciting than when Brian taught me about Christopher Columbus. Where are we going, Brian? Well, Peter, we're going to visit the year 1492. That's when Columbus set sail on his famous voyage to the New World. Hey, we're on a ship! That's right, Peter. This is the Santa Maria, one of three ships Columbus took to find a direct route to India. Any sign of India yet, fellas? Nothing yet, Captain! India? But I thought Columbus was going to America. On the contrary, Peter, Columbus discovered America entirely by mistake. Wow! Don't think I could have been any clearer the last time I turned him down. Ray, your mother insulted my steak pozzola again. Neil Goldman of Quahog, Rhode Island. Leave me alone! I hate you! 
I hate you! Anyway, your mother insulted me. I don't care anymore, Patty. After nine seasons, I just don't care. Maybe you could try not being a bitch. I don't understand why I have to babysit Stewie. I mean, what's he really going to do if we leave him by himself? And now to test my teleportation pods. <gasps> oh, Tim! I'm a monster! Never gonna be remembered for anything. Not like my great great uncles, the Siamese twins who fought each other in the Civil War. I'm seceding! Like hell you were! Not too smart, huh? Yeah, did not think that one through. Hey, can I say hi to a friend of mine? Uh, sure. Hi, Jesus! No way! Hello? I know, I saw! Come on, buddy, you owe me. Eh? You, you remember what I did for you last week? Sighing softly to the river comes the loving breeze Setting nature all a quiver rustling through the trees Through the trees <sighs> All right, I'll go. Come on, Lois, he doesn't have the wild streak you had when you were younger. For God's sake, you used to make plaster molds of celebrity body parts. Okay, Daryl, it's almost dry. <laughs> Very nice, by the way. This one's going on the shelf right next to Dan Fogelberg. Hey, Lois, am I up next? Just wait in your dressing room. I'll come back for you, Oats. I'm not coming back for Oats. I got the idea from when Brian had to wear that cone after his operation. Okay, okay, if I make this, we're all gonna get laid. Ha-ha! Yes! Score! Score! Boy, I'd really like to chew on my crotch right now. Oh, Peter, we've tried every theme we could think of, and everything's failed, especially that uh, Coyote Ugly theme. I'm not going to avoid Peter like the drunk chick at a party. I just smoked the wrong Ah, jeez, that's more of a rip-off than that breakfast machine I bought. Shoot you! It doesn't make breakfast at all! Ah! Boy, I haven't been this creeped out since I saw that episode of Star Trek. Number one. Yes, Captain. Let me ask you something. If I whispered in your ear that Commander Worf's head looks like a fanny, would you join me in a laugh? Yeah, I could get in on that. All right. Here it comes. Commander Wolf's head looks like a fanny. <laughs> <laughs> you can both suck my ridges. Oh, get a sense of humor, Rocky Dennis. Wow, that sounds even better than when I got paid to take part in that study. Hmm, the only one who couldn't finish the puzzle is the fat one. I'm sorry, I can't see what you're going for here. What, uh, let me look at... Oh, it's a jar of preserves. Oh, yeah, I guess that's what all the red pieces were, huh? And Meg even went on a date with the announcer from the Super Friends. Meanwhile, under Meg Griffin's bra... <laughs> Don't be so sure, Brian. I've slept with chicks all over the world. Who knows? I could have kids in their 20s. ¿Dónde demonios estabas? Es más de la una y media de la mañana. Eso no significa que no Giggity puede vivir. Maldita sea, Giggity. A veces me pones furiosa. No puedo hablar contigo, Giggity, cuando te pones así. Me voy a ver los toros, Giggity, Giggity, Giggity. My God, nobody can be this stupid. Not, not, not even Peter when he took that blow to the head and thought he was Larry from Three's Company. Jack, there's a hot tub party across the street and we're invited. Oh, and don't worry, if uh, Mr. Furley comes by, I'll make sure he thinks you're... <laughs> How did you get on the show? Uh, I had to do a few favors. Oh, I gotta get on that show. Come on, I'll do anything. Anything? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, check under the bed. Nope, nothing. Check in the closet. Nope, no monsters in here. Now check the bathroom. Nope, none in here either. Okay, good. So can I be on The Bachelorette? Yeah, good night. I tell you, this is worse than when they took away my library card for reading while intoxicated. 
Oh, don't be ashamed of your hand, Johnny Tremaine. You still live in exciting times. Oh, crap. Sir, do you know how loud you were reading? The life of a silversmith's apprentice was not an easy one. Ah! 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 Brian on a date, hmm? Well, that'll be more pathetic than that game of Marco Polo I played with Helen Keller. Marco. 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 Damn! I'm terrible at meeting new people, like the time I was on blind date. I'm having a great time, Stewie. Me too. So, uh, you ready to go grab some za? Uh, yeah. So, a uh, wild guess here, but from the looks of your arm hair, I'm guessing you're Italian? You're a hero. No, Lou Gehrig was a hero. Excellent. As soon as I release this biological toxin into the world's water supply, I will rule the world. I'll call it Lou Gehrig's disease. I just have to remember to make sure this cap is screwed on tight. Well, I guess the joke's on me. This ought to be more interesting than that time I met Ted Danson. Wow, Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen. Hey, always nice to meet a fan. Oh, shoot. I forgot my umbrella. That's okay, honey. Come on over here. Thanks, dear. Sometimes it's good to be a freak. Hey, do you want to sleep together later? Oh, no. No, no. Thanks, though. Finally, I'm one of those guys who can't wait to get to work in the morning. Like a dairy cow. Ah! Ah! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh! This is turning out worse than Stewie's iPod commercial. He gave me DVDs. The production values were amazing. Much better than Kramer vs. Predator. You want him back? You can't just disappear for three months and then suddenly decide you want him back. You can't have him. Murder? Well, this is a bigger surprise than that time Peter vanished into thin air. Hey, Stewie, peek Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. Well, I, I can hear you, but I can't see... Really, must really be gone. peek Ah! How the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Oh, God, I'm screwed. This is worse than that time I had to fess up to the nation. My fellow Americans, I have not been entirely truthful with you. I did gagoogity that girl. I geschmoigadied her geflavity with my googus. And I am sorry. I feel awful. Why don't you come on over and we can try to get things back to the way they used to be? Remember how it was? Perhaps here there are many unsuspecting foxes to have sex with us. That is why we wear a tight pants to show our bulges. We are two, two wild, wild and crazy, crazy guys. guys. You guys look stupid. Oh my god, he's gone. Ooh, that means this room is mine now. Oh, I'm gonna party my ass off in here. Great pot, Stewie. Yeah, I got it from our cleaning lady's boyfriend. It's okay though, because she's gonna use the money to get a mammogram. I just bought us some new sheets at Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, boy, I hope you stayed away from that Beyond section. Ah! Oh, here are the coffee mugs. I hope I don't make any social faux pas like I did at Pamela and Tommy Lee's dinner party. Hi, sorry I'm late. I was visiting my aunt in the hospital. She has hepatitis. Ooh, sorry. Oh, wow, I feel like an explorer. Just like my ancestor, Ponce de Leon Griffin. There it is, boys, the fountain of youth. Just like I told you. Well, that was worth the eight-year boat ride. Wow, no Griffin's been this powerful since my ancestor, King Arthur Griffin. Oh, Arthur, if you are able to draw the sword from the stone and prove to me you truly are the sole king of Camelot, I will make love to you right here in the clearing. What if I could just move it an inch? Will you touch me? The second, Lois, that's what we need. We'll go on a second honeymoon. <gasps> Peter, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, we'll be just like the honeymooners. One of these days, Alice, one of these days. Yeah, yeah, I know, Ralph, right to the moon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Huh? I almost got an ulcer after you shelled out 200 bucks for tickets to crossing over with John Edward. I'm sensing an A. Does your name begin with an A? No. A B? No. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. P! Peter! My name's Peter! Is your name Peter? Wow, you are some kind of sorcerer. This is worse than that Winona Ryder thing. <laughs> Are you saying I'm a klepto? Well, uh, actually, I was talking about the age of innocence. It is settled, May. Our parents have consented, and you and I are to be married on the first warm, sunny day of spring. That would be most good, Newland. Most good. <sighs> I'm sorry, but she, she is just awful. Is there any way, I mean, can we add, like, a topless scene or something? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. We can? Oh, great. All right, we got a movie. Okay, now don't wander too far, kids. You know, more children get kidnapped at the grocery store than anywhere else. Hey! Ah, you got me! Oh, not quick enough. Not quick enough, no. no I was close, though. <laughs> you were close. Believe me, Peter does stupid things all the time. That's why he got fired from that airline. Coffee for you, Captain Griffin? Thank you, stewardess. Um, hey... Where are we right now? Uh, on an airplane? No, this room. What is this room called? The flight deck? No. Control room? No. Cockpit? <laughs> oh, 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 God, I told you I'd get her to say it. Oh, 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 God. All right, go on, get out of here. Is she coming back? I don't know. <laughs> And the other night I had to do, uh, well, you know, that thing that you usually do for me every Thursday night. Something good, something good. Oh, uh, you really dazzled that rep from the Cincinnati office last week. That is sensational. You really made me feel confident about those numbers. Listen, if you're ever looking for a change of scenery, we could sure use a fellow like you in Cincinnati. That was you in disguise. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Fine, it wasn't. Ha! It was! Oh, what a feeling. Oh, this is even better than that time I met Timer, the cheese guy. A hanker for a hunk, uh, a slammer slice of junker. A hanker for a hunk of cheese. When you get up and go has got up and went. Howdy, partner! Uh, yeah, pardon me, sir. I live next door. Uh, it is 3.30 in the morning. I, I am very tired. Look, a wagon wheel! What the hell is your problem? I just smoked a whole bunch of crack! Yeah, I remember when I became a man. The operation was a success. What are you going to go by now? Peter. Oh, man, that's the best idea since they faked the moon landing. Okay, cut. Wow, Neil Armstrong! Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to be on the moon. I just saw it on TV. Oh, there's a, uh, yeah, no, a tape delay and uh, with all uh, solar winds. <laughs> yes! Oh, this is more exciting than that time I got to ride the washing machine. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'll carve out a niche as the effeminate male friend of the popular girls. Okay, tonight's my OC party. I got a case of wine coolers so we can drink every time Ryan seethes. Cool, I'd love to come. Me too. How'd you get the wine coolers? Oh, it's not. I just did some stuff for a guy in the parking lot. Does anyone have any scope? My God, I haven't been this exhilarated since Brian took me to see Les Miserables. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a slight change in the cast tonight. Oh, no. For this evening's performance, the role of Jean Valjean will be played by Kirk Cameron. Oh! Oh, unbelievable! Oh, my God! How lucky are we, huh? Hey, Stewie, what are you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. Just watching Kirk Cameron play Jean Valjean. Oh, my God! Curtain up! Oh, man. I haven't been this upset since I watched The Blob on television. Look out behind you, lady! It's the blob! I'll save you! Oh, man, I can't believe I'm sleeping with a model. I'm luckier than the state of Rhode Island. Well, I can't decide what to call this place. We'll flip a coin. All right, heads, Rhode Island. Tails, Cockapoopoopipishire. Wow, imagine what a genius like me could do with all that money. All right, Cloris Leachman, I've bought you legally. Now, juggle these beanbags. I don't know how to juggle. God help you, Cloris, juggle a beanbag! I hear you're ruining everyone's good time, like Peter did when he used to entertain terminally ill kids. Hi there, how y'all doing? 
All right, so I'm at the DMV the other day. Long lines, long lines at the DMV. But uh, you'll find out all about that when you get old. Oh, uh, uh, moving on. So uh, I finally tried Viagra and... Uh, Ow! Oh, we got a joker in the audience there. You uh, you got something you want to say there, uh, Mr. Heckler? Dying hurts. Tell me about it. So anyway, who hates flying? Meg, you, you remember when you found out your gynecologist never finished med school? All right, Meg, let's take a look at that vagina. Well, it's not often we get to meet celebrities. Yeah, except when I was Christina Aguilera's manager. Okay, uh, l- l- let me just go ahead and stop you right there. Y- you sound terrible, all right? Y- you're doing this thing, which is just, uh, you know, what What the hell is that? I mean, hey, and, and you look like if I touched you, you'd be sticky, and frankly, you smell bad. You're pretty much offensive to all five senses. That's only four. Well, uh, actually, you know when you smell something and it gets stuck in there and you can sort of taste it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm tasting you right now, and it tastes awful. Truly disgusting, like salty garbage. Yeah, I totally taste it. You really care about a man who used to try and pick up girls at the Miss USA pageant? Hey, how's it going? I'm Peter. You want to go out sometime? Maybe get a Saturday night free? Yeah, yeah, you know what? To hell with you, then. Yeah, go to hell. Go to hell. Hey, I'm Peter. And what do you say you and me go get a couple beers, huh? Maybe we could... Oh, fine. You know what? You got mosquito bite boobs anyway. I I don't care. I don't care. I don't need you. Hey, how are you? I'm Peter. I got a coupon for Sizzler with your name on it. You know, maybe the two of us get you... Ah, you know what? I don't care. You're a bitch. I can do that. I'm a smart guy. I once built that time machine out of a DeLorean. All right, past, here I come. Wow, everybody in 1955 was on fire. I never knew that. (laughs) That guest list is more exclusive than the Garden of Eden. So basically, you can eat from any tree you want except this one. Can we sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. Well, well, why not uh, uh, Ronald Reagan? He was always fun, especially in his later years. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Tear it down. Reagan smash. Reagan smash. What's that? Oh, it's just Reagan. Just leave him alone. He'll tire himself out. Reagan sleepy. Like the time my agent dropped that bomb on me. No one in this town will hire you. Oh, yeah? Taxi! 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 Chris, I'm just as serious as I was when I saw Paul Reiser do stand-up. What's the deal with airline food? I mean, is this stuff bad or what? Oh, that's not nice. Those chefs work really hard. And what's with those Starbucks, huh? They're everywhere. Uh, a lot of people want coffee. That's supply and demand. It's the foundation of our entire economy, Paul. And who do I talk to about those long lines at the ATM? That's what I want to know. Uh, not me, Mr. Reiser. Someone who has time to fritter away, but not me.
Mr. Weed, distinguished members of the board, may I present this year's hottest toy, Mr. Zucchini Head. He's got stupid cool hip hop style with his little hat and his dark mountains. Uh, thank you, Peter. That's enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the best part. He dances. Well, I've seen enough. Appropriate. I haven't had sex in four years. Gentlemen, I apologize for wasting your time. Peter is an adequate assembly line worker, but you'll be happy to know our company does not pay him to think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this. No calls. How are you coming, Johnson? Well, Mr. Weed, I've been working on the new G.I. Jew line, and as you can see, they look great. You call these bagels? <laughs> Whoa! I'm glad he's on our side. <gasps> no, I hope you forsake me. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Weed, um, I heard you ran into my identical twin brother at the ball game yesterday. And if you don't buy that, I'm sorry I was at the ball game yesterday. Peter, I just received terrible news. This company has been taken over by a conglomerate. After 23 years of faithful service, I've been terminated. Wow, the business world sure is funny. That must be him. Oh, God. I hope that thing doesn't happen where I get nervous and I can't control the volume of my voice. Hello, Peter. How are you? Fine! Please come in. It's so nice to have you over, Mr. Weed. Thank you, Mrs. Griffin. I understand that you have a beautiful family. Yes, we do. But the children won't be joining us for dinner. It's almost their bedtime. Attention, please. Tomorrow is softball practice. We have a lot of work to do for Saturday's game. Let's not forget how badly we were humiliated last year by Potok and Joke and Novelty. <laughs> Look at those morons in their stupid glasses. Attention, everyone. Due to several complaints and the two deaths related to worker fatigue, I have decided to throw a company picnic this Saturday. Peter! What the... Are you sleeping on the job? Uh, uh no, there's a, a bug in my eye and I'm trying to suffocate him. Peter, I like you, but I need you to be more than just eye candy around here. It's your job to watch for any toys that could be hazardous to children. Now look sharp! Uh, yes, sir. <sighs> Peter, you bought the statue of David? No, 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 I just rented it. Yeah, they're gonna be ticked, though. The penis broke off while I was loading it into the car. I shall call you Eduardo. Peter, please. Miss Ironbacks, I assure you this company in no way condones Peter's conduct. In fact, a film on employee relations has been a mandatory part of our personnel training for 50 years. <laughs> Irrational and emotionally fragile by nature, female co-workers are a peculiar animal. They are very insecure about their appearance. Be sure to tell them how good they look every day, even if they're homely and unkempt. You're doing a great job, Muriel, and you're prettier than Mamie Van Doren. And remember, nothing says good job like a firm, open palm slap on the behind. This year, we will defeat those pranksters with our secret weapon. Guillermo. <laughs> Bravo! I hired Guillermo because I believe he will be an asset to our company on and off the field. You have impeccable credentials. I'm sure I can find a position for you somewhere. Back to work, people! All right, all right, let's not panic. Nobody even knows about this yet. Police! Random dead body search. Oh, my God, Lois, stall him! Peter, what are you doing? Just, just stall him, Lois! Dad, don't you have to work today? <laughs> it's nothing a little phone call can't take care of. Hello? Mr. Weed, I can't come to work today. I was in a terrible plane crash. My entire family was killed, and I am a vegetable. I'll see you tomorrow. Huh? Eh? Oh, please, Peter, your excuses are lamer than FDR's legs. <gasps> Too soon? Peter, our new secret weapon is this very attractive paraplegic. <laughs> okay, Joe, you got me. <laughs> Rise and shine. Come on, stand and deliver. Get the hell up. <laughs> You're a hoot, Peter. The winner of our final contest will receive a very special prize, a week's paid vacation. Did you hear that? Oh, God, please, please let it be farting. Please let it be a fart contest. 
These are tranquilizer darts. I have enough here to take down Robert Downey Jr. Oh, <laughs> Robert yeah. Downey, yes, well, the last one left standing wins. Let the game begin! I guess it's just down to you and me, Peter. One of us is gonna win that paid vacation. <laughs> but I, I don't wanna feed Grandma bacon while she's in the bathtub. Peter, are you okay? <laughs> Mr. Weed, I think Peter needs a duck. Ooh. We have a winner! Here, yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> it's nice that your family is here, Peter. If your ringer doesn't arrive soon, you can spend every day with him. At home. Oh, uh, he'll be here, Mr. Weed. Oh, you should see this guy in action. He can hit, he can throw. Miller. What's he doing in a wheelchair? Holy crap, he's a crapple. Glad to see you all found your way over from the cemetery. I'm Leonard Hale, Mr. Weed's lawyer. We found this tape among Mr. Weed's personal effects with instructions that it be screened immediately following his funeral. Enjoy. Good morning, camera time. Turn that off, I don't have my face on yet, I'm ugly. Y you wanna tell us a little something about what you're making there? I will tell you, it's just a couple of eggs with the peppers left over from last night. Mm. <laughs> yes, mm. okay, now playtime is over. Turn it off, monkey, okay? <laughs> <coughs> Hello, friends. If you are watching this, I am dead, and I bet you're pretty bummed. But I have good news. Yeah? The happy-go-lucky toy factory shall be torn down to make way for the happy-go-lucky terminal disease institute. What? The demolition will begin in now. And it seems the happy-go-lucky toy company of Quahog, Rhode Island, has released several highly unsafe toy products into the retail market. Come on, Timmy, throw the silly ball. Oh, boy, a pound poochie. Come on, baby Heimlich, spit it out. Peter, I am appalled. Your negligence has damaged this company's reputation. You're fired! Ha, oh, jeez, for how long? Oh, uh, wait here, Dad. Hey, uh, Mr. Weed? Peter! Um, listen, I was wondering if you might have a job for my dad. Your father? He must be a man of at least 70. Oh, yeah, but he's in great shape, eh? Well, well except his prostate. Hey, at 2 a.m. last night, I thought a horse was using the bathroom. Peter! I'm finished. What's next? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. He did my whole day's work in five minutes. We should sell you to the circus, you freak. I've never seen such productivity. How is this possible? I'll tell you how it's possible. Because this man always put his job before everything else. His wife, his health, even his own son. Especially his own son. I need here no more. Everyone, this is your new shop foreman. Welcome aboard, sir. Lead us, you see fit. Oh, how hard can it be to pitch? Uh, okay, take your base. Somebody call 911. Tell them he's allergic to penicillin and white Zinfandel. Idiot! If you don't find a ringer to replace Guillermo, you're fired! Mmm, who would think that a woman with such beauty would also have the culinary skills of Emeril Lagasse? Ah, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Peter, don't you have something to say to Mr. Weed? Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Weed, I don't care what the guys at work say. I never thought you were an effeminate weirdo. Uh, uh so, uh, what, what kind of a name is Weed? They gave it to my grandfather on Ellis Island. Our original name was Bermuda Grass. Peter, being here with your wonderful family, your beautiful home, and your funny talking dog, well, I'm impressed. In fact, starting Monday, I would like to promote you to head of toy development. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, thanks, Mr. Weed. Oh, you won't be sorry. <laughs> Brian, quit it. You're embarrassing me here. Peter, Brian's choking. Do the Heimlich maneuver quick. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <gasps> Why congratulate me on a right and natural turn of events? Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall select three things from Stewie's room that I wish to be mine. There's a book in there on how to eat healthy. Why don't you take that, you fat bitch? Hey, Horace, get that wiener out of your hand and give us three more beers over here. Ha, <laughs> Lois, you're always giving me the business. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Horace, why don't you take that wiener out of your hand and give me a beer? Don't talk to me that way, you son of a bitch. What about Mr. Jemerson? Is he single? I, I... I don't know. What about Mr. Adelaide? Is he single? 
I don't know who that is. Well, who do you know who is single? Uh, I'm assuming you. Oh, oh hey, look, cake! I am gonna go back in time and stop Brian from getting it on with your dog. Everybody stand back. Ah! Uh, oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Ah! Ah! We now return to. Uh huh. Uh huh. Excuse me? I said, may I have a blanket? Oh, yes, of course. Ha! I really said, will you be my wife? And you said yes, so now it is official. Let me touch your face. Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. If he says one more cool thing, he's in. I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. Wow. Oh my god, you're awesome. Oh my awesome. god, you're, you're so, so cool. cool. Don't so hit sand. Don't so hit sand. sand. And send. You son of a bitch. I told you. What did he do now? He don't listen to you. He don't listen to you. He endeavors to score by dashing between the creatures, provided the wicket keeper hasn't whipped his bales off, of course. Anybody get that? The only British idiom I know is that fag means cigarette. Well, someone tell this cigarette to shut up. <whistles> yeah, baby! I want a piece of that. You suck! Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. God, will you guys just shut up back there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, gross! Will you stop it? Stop it! <laughs> hey, guys, check this out. <laughs> hey, Meg, don't be such a hothead. Now I'm just gonna reach for the shampoo. No jumping out. He's got Rupert! Hey, drop it! Drop it! Drop it! No man can resist the siren call of mentally impaired supermodel Kate Upton. Mm, sorry, Dad. I'm more of a Catherine Keener man now. But, Chris, you gotta take advantage. The clock's ticking on Kate Upton. She's almost at the end of a window. <laughs> hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that right? <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it! Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on her. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Unattractive women do it all the time. You look pretty today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup. Oh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. You have more than one shed? Of course, you always need an extra shed. I even got one shed that just has an extra shed in it. You guys talking about sheds? Hell yes, I love my sheds. Me too. High five on sheds. Sheds! Sheds! I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about me! Hey, did that big Boomba Boomba nurse come in here? Uh, no. But Dr. Hartman, is my brother gonna be okay? That's her! That's her! Hi, Juanita! Hello, Doctor. Was that weird? Was I just weird? Kind of. You don't know, I was fine. Ooh, look, there's Mort's house! Oh, but I hope he doesn't have some gross Jewish candy, like, like Rugelach or, or Hamantaschen or, or, or ha 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 right, 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 Brian? Hey, uh, I'm new here, but you know what would be crazy? If me, a guy, went in the girls' room with you two. I mean, <laughs> that would be, that would be so wild. We should, we should totally just go in there. Brian, stop. That'd be hilarious. I'm in. Still, we go wait in the car. No, we are here to get information about Chris I and go wait in the car. Go out dancing. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of cozy tonight, kind of mellow. I just really want to go dance. Oh, <gasps> there it is again. What is that? 
All right, this is gonna blow you guys away. Ah! What you got is over there? Where you got little Nice melons. Hey, listen, pal. Peter, I'm holding melons. Oh, and her hooters ain't bad either. Now hang on a second, there. Peter, I'm holding hooters. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Your wife's hot. All right, that's it. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. Eleven forty-five, and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much, though. Look at this, Lois. See, right here. I was voted most likely to succeed. Peter, that's not you. That's not even a yearbook. That's a People magazine. Oh. I wonder why they had the wrong picture and name. <laughs> you Get out of here! I'll kill you! But come back tomorrow, same time. I get very sad on Sundays when you're not here. I think it's in March? <laughs> Stewie, are you crazy? That's so loud, the guards will hear. Don't worry about it, Brian. Hey, what's going on down there? Nothing. All right. Meow. Purr, purr. I think you're dreaming. No, I'm not. I haven't been this embarrassed since I was a rookie firefighter. Sorry, first day, still learning. You been drinking tonight, sir? Uh, no, officer. I just had a glass of dinner with my wine. Okay, I'm gonna need you to step out of the car and walk a straight line, please. Oh, <laughs> This is so humiliating. For God's sake, I went to Brown and he's got me out here tied to a post like some kind of- <laughs> Hey, hey, that's the guy. That's the guy whose chin looks like a... a... balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Bri. Still sitting in chairs, huh? What'd your back ever do to you? I'm trying to watch. You know what I'm watching? My core. Your body and mind are supposed to be on the same team. Sitting on the hard floor is good for your back, too. So what's for dinner? You said we were having Italian? Yeah, and then I realized I'm not good at making fettuccine Alfredo, but I am good at making reservations. Oh. <laughs> you get it? Oh, God, I'm so bad. He has come to me all the way from America. His name is Brian Griffin, and my heart belongs to him. <gasps> Quick, everyone's looking at the dog. Go, go, go. So, I just want to lay a few ground rules. Yep. I promise we're going to have fun, but there will be a uh -huh. schedule just to keep everything sure, running smoothly. Have boundaries. And I may assign That's a great, chore or two because it's actually more Sounds fun like when you got everyone it all worked pitches out. in. Hey, by the way. Ah! We'll be closing in two minutes. I think you've had about enough. Well, I th I think you're wrong, you increasingly attractive looking woman. You know, you're you're really pretty. Oh, stop. No, I'm I'm serious. You could you could be in magazines. You you could. Now, if you ladies don't mind stepping out, I have to reprimand Danny McBride next. Mr. McBride, do you know why you're here? Yeah, maybe because I'm awesome and you're a gay homosexual and also the word jet ski a lot. <laughs> but now I'm starting to sober up, so I'm going to need one to keep an even playing field. All right, but it stays between us. And what if they card you? Don't worry, I got it covered. Don't worry, I only hired women whose names are cookie-related. Lois, meet cookie, sugar, spice, cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. Oh, hey, butter. Some guys like butter. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Are you enjoying your coffee, sir? Yeah, it's very smooth. Good flavor. What if we told you that we secretly replaced your coffee with Folgers Crystals? Wouldn't you feel like a dumbass? Because of how you just raved about it just now? You stupid son of a bitch! Peter, face it, without Quagmire, we're boring. Oh, come on, that ain't true. Yes, it is. He had all the fun ideas. Remember, he even took me parasailing. This is awesome! It's like I'm flying! <laughs> I've never felt so alive! Oh, if only I had a pair of legs. 
All right. It was the fish part of me that wanted him. Oh, come on. This will change your mind. Oh, my God. Quick, do something. It's not working. Get rid of it. Get your family out of that house. If they don't leave, they'll die. Round up your family and get out, or you're all gonna be sorry. Get out now! <gasps> See, kids, I told you we'd make friends here. I guess me getting transferred by the Xerox Corporation wasn't the worst thing after all. Well, we made it. East Bola. All right, let's find our prince and get my money back. Get down on the ground. Yeah. This is unacceptable. I demand to speak to Anthony Anderson. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I answer this call. Hello? Yes, this is Peter Griffin. Yes, I did call you about the eight-piece lawn croquet set. Now, it says weathered. Just how weathered is it? Yeah, go ahead and send me a pic. That'd be very helpful. Sir, shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I look at these pictures. <laughs> Peter, we have a hamper. Stop throwing your dirty clothes in the toilet. Peter? Peter, where are you? What's all this? Oh, hey, Lois. Welcome to the Peak Pad, where the dancing's hot, the drinks are hot. Everything's just freaking hot. What have you done to the attic? Well, when I slept up here the other night, I realized what a great space it is. So I dragged up some stuff and turned it into a sweet hangout. Even made it extra awesome by stealing a real street sign. I'm I'm sorry. I, I didn't I didn't mean. No, it's okay. Um, I'd better go downstairs before Joe realizes I'm gone, and before Peter gets into the stuff that's not for the party. Ah, Halloween candy! Peter, get out of the pantry! Oh, I can't believe I just kissed my friend's wife. I'm a bigger scumbag than Spock. I heard that there was a Romulan ship spotted in our sector, which means... Hey. Hey. Chadley wants to have a play date here at my house. Well, that's great. No, it's not. I can't let him see this dump. Come on, Stewie. Chadley should like you for who you are. Besides, this place isn't so bad. Brian, Chadley's parents each have their own bathroom. I've seen the fat man pee through Lois's legs while she's sitting on the toilet. What I've got to do is find a spectacular house that I can pretend is mine to impress Chadley. Well, why don't you just use Babs and Carters? I can't. They're having an eyes wide shut party all weekend. I can't find my wiener with this mask. All right, time out. Let's, let's all just find our wieners and then put the masks back on. Huh. I know I left the ring right here. If you're referring to the ring that I thought was a lug nut, I ate it. What? Why would you eat a lug nut? I was dared. By who? By myself. I have low self-esteem. We should check in on this guy, Mo. Oh my god, this can't be happening! Chris, that was a diamond ring! Do you know how expensive that was? I'm sorry, Brian. But don't worry, it'll come out of my body sooner or later. He's right. I ate a dime once. It became a manhole cover for like three days, but then POW! Okay, yeah, yeah, we just, we just gotta force Chris to poop, that's all. Yay, like at a sleepover! I love you. You're loved. Good idea. And luckily, I'm great at connecting with that generation. Like when I went on that camp out with One Direction. So they checked into their hotel suite, but the minibar had no sparkling water, only still! <gasps> ah, stop! It's too scary. Oh, but that's not all. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans! <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No, just regular pants that fit normal! <gasps> That's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real! Ah! <laughs> yeah, they're gonna die in the woods. Simon, are they tagged? They're tagged, right? Oh, they're tagged. Good. Simon, did I ever tell you the one about the loose-fitting T-shirt? No, 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 no! Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they helped me to, um... Uh, think. Okay, time for an eyes open nap. God, look what those pills are doing to you. Putting you on that stuff was a huge mistake. Like inviting a turtle to a cocktail party. 
Hey, ask me why they call me a box turtle. Mom, 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 mom. Hey, so how'd it go last night? Well, let's just say I got asked to come back tonight. You're kidding. It actually went over well. I figured you'd be terrible. Why would you think that? Well, I know a thing or two about performing. I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you're doing there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Thanks for the ride along. I liked when you sentenced those two girls to kiss each other. Yeah, all girls are lesbians when you point a gun at them. Boy, it's been great spending time with you, son. It's been great spending time with you, too. Dad. Oh, this'll be fun. Let's see how long it takes them to get Gumby over there into the car. Yeah, that's our neighbor, Peter Griffin. That's the guy who emailed me? Huh. No wonder it was all caps with tons of typos. He's a waterhead, right? Yeah, he's a mess. Look at his ugly kids. Pathetic. Ugh, he's not bitten. Just put some of them in the back like skis. Ugh! 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 Very good, Stewie. You grunt like a Hungarian lesbian. Oh, thanks, Dimitri. And, uh, your testicles hanging out of your shorts again. I am cooling it. And you know, Glenn, after you moved away, Buttercup had kittens. <gasps> what? That's right. You're a grandfather. <laughs> My God. This is more pussy than even I can handle. Is he gonna say giggity? Should I say giggity? Are other people allowed to say giggity? Giggity. What? Nothing is stupid. Holy crap, we, we, we gotta, gotta get out of here. Aw, oh, man, the library. White Fang, this is for ruining my eighth grade summer. They ruined my summer, too. Oh my god, somebody must have locked us in. We're gonna die in here. <laughs> Sorry, guys, somebody emailed me a video of a sheep screaming. <laughs> okay, now if you're gonna defeat your sister in the ring, you gotta get to the root of your fears. We gotta go back to your childhood, so I'm gonna hypnotize you. Okay, go back. Now we need to go back in time. My jeans are husky. Okay, further. Further. A little further. Now open your eyes and tell me what you see. I see the six stations of the Lord's Order and they will all burn. There you go, Joe. All settled. Now, which wall would you like to look at for the rest of your life? I don't know. It'd be that one. I, I have no idea what you're pointing at, Joe. You gotta meet us halfway. Look, guys, I don't want to be a burden to anyone. You go ahead and live your lives. I'll be fine. And we can't just leave you, Joe. So before we go, I'm gonna put the remote in your mouth. Here's a can of chili. And the opener we'll put in your mouth. And here's a magazine I thought you might like to read. I'm gonna put it in your mouth. And you probably don't want any reminders of Bonnie around the house, so I cleared out all of her underwear. Quagmire, neither he nor his assistant is available. To schedule a liaison, press 1. To cancel a liaison, press 2. If you're calling to report a pregnancy, please fill out our online form and we will mail you a check for $180. Thank you and have a giggity day. Chris, this is your mother. 
Get these dildos out of the dishwasher. Oh, what are you doing here? Quagmire? Uh, oh, uh, uh, I have a hobby that takes me this way. Hey, I'm freezing. You got a blanket in there or something? I got a towel, but it's wet because I'm eating peaches. I lied about the hobby. I was sinning. I'm going to drive away backwards now. Now, I, I understand the show was quite different when it started. Yeah, in the original pilot, I was actually the star. It was called Chris Griffin, Teen Doctor. Sir, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Well, it can't be any worse than what's in here. <laughs> I ad-libbed that line. I wasn't even supposed to talk. What they didn't know is that I've been privately doing jokes about the newspaper for years. Peter, I need you to take Chris and Meg to school. Today's the day I finally kill that squirrel that's been eating our tomatoes. Try to get like eight of them this time. I want to make bruschetta. Oh, can't the kids just walk? You know I like to watch two full movies before I go to work. No, Peter, they can't walk. It's three miles. <sighs> Fine, I'll take them. But you better keep those goggles, because I'm going to put them to good use tonight. Once the floor is full of sawdust, we can eat peanuts in here. Correct, Quagmire. I'm going in for gender reassignment surgery. What the hell, Peter? First my dad, now you? Am, am I is it, Am I doing this to people? Is it, do you guys feel like cutting off your penises? No, but I can turn it inside out like rolling up a dress sock. You guys aren't supporting my choice? Well, what do you expect, Peter? I, I mean, a sex change operation? Why are you doing this? I'll tell you why I'm doing all of this. For me. M-E. M-E. I'm doing it for M-E. <laughs> Ew. I mean, yay. Oh, hey, Chris. This is Tyler. Don't make this weird now. Oh, what a gentleman. Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. Hey, where's Chris? He's over there, playing that carnival game. Step right up! Everybody take a chance on a whack a big a pussy Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. This is not what I thought it was! Oh, my God! Chris is out of control! I know! Must be all the violence in movies and sex on TV. Oh. Hey, I listen. <laughs> I'm actually very hungry. Nobody's gonna want you if you're fat. You want to eat? Get up to that bar and earn your keep. Well, what should I ask for, 500? You're not worth that much. You're trash. Ask for two. You know I hit you and whore you out because I love you, right? Hi there. You want a party? And can I have some of your bread? Hi, handsome. You can't have my bread, but you can have something of mine that smells like bread. <gasps> Okay, let's go. Just so you know, it takes me a long time. Hi, are you a straight adult male who likes to eat crepes without people making unwanted assumptions about your private life? Go to discreetcrepe.com, place your order, and within 30 minutes... Very masculine pizza delivery for Stewie Griffin. Oh, thank you. Mmm, strawberry banana Nutella with raspberry drizzle. Now oh, I just need a guy's butt to eat this off of, and I got myself a night. We finally made it, Brian. We're in India. 
Excuse me, man with no pupil, where can we get a taxi cab around here? All right, let's do it, Stewie. Let's go find Padma. Shouldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> This is wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. Lois! 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 Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 And what's this giant, empty, football stadium-sized room? Oh, the post office anticipates that within the next five years, at least 200 million men in this country will be ordering and receiving real dolls. Every man will have seven to nine real dolls. Asians, blonde southern girls, blonde Asians capable of performing every possible sexual act, or at least incapable of refusing. You can put one in your car and drive in the carpool lane with it, and then maybe you push your head down, thus defeating the purpose of the carpool lane while fulfilling the purpose of the real doll. Maybe a trucker goes by. You say, hey, Janine, give him a show. Maybe later you ask yourself some tough questions like, why is it so important to you to impress and excite truckers? Anywho, grab that letter opener. I'm going to show you why you should never mail cash. Oh, thank God. Because just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. Chris, your mother and I want you to stop taking them pills. There's a lot of great things about having a sex drive that you're missing out on. Like what? Well, there's the post-orgy meals at a swingers party. Come on, let's eat with these wonderful people. Hey, everybody. Try my wife's ambrosia. If you like my wife's sniz, you're gonna love her ambrosia. I was thinking about this seven-layer dip the whole time I was chowing Ronald. I don't like this. I want to go home. You know what's sad? There's hardly any other fathers and sons here. Wow, you're really obsessed with Patty. You want her even more than I wanted the new iPhone. How's it going? Good, just looking forward to getting that new phone. What are you talking about? This isn't the Apple Store. This is a super gay club. Yeah, right. I leave and you get my phone. Nice try, cutie pie. And here's a trick to keep that confidence up. You go in that room and imagine everyone in it wants you sexually. I'm doing it right now. And I feel powerful. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go psych out these other kids. Hey, little guy. Nervous? Sure, yeah. Here's something that might help you. <coughs> hey, little guy. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Peter, he needs a boost. Give him some of the acting soup. I want to say curse words! Okay, Stewie, you're just going to drink this juice, then say, mmm, and rub your belly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, bye, juice! That was amazing. I've got goosebumps. I want him sexually. Whoa, 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 no TV for you, Chris. TV is how stupid losers spend their time. Peter, what is this all about? I'm trying to save our son, Lois. I don't want him to end up like me. Dead-end job, crappy house, aging wife who's getting skinny where fat's supposed to be and fat where skinny's supposed to be. Ha! <laughs> Mag, go to your room. Why do you still read the newspaper? Nobody does that anymore. I like to keep up on local news. Huh. Most of these arrests are Cleveland. And the arresting officer is Joe Swanson. Can I help you, sir? I'm doing my mail route, Joe. Maybe you'd be more comfortable talking about it down at the station. It is more comfortable here. The police station. Come for the racial profiling. Stay for the comfort. Is that... is that you? Oh, yeah. A friend invited me to this charity ball. A friend? She's a hundred! Older women are cultured, worldly. I've got nothing to be defensive about. Her husband passed away. She appreciates my friendship. I don't like it. Oh my god, I know that sound! That means there's a potential intruder at the front door or one of my pals. Either way, I'm really excited and ready for anything! Hello? <laughs> Coming up, that bush in the park is my bush. It's my bush. Hey, Mom, can I pull my pants down? If she doesn't answer, does that mean yes? That's what I've been going with. Yay! <laughs> I want to get in on that. <laughs> Mine's better. Mine's better. I've just been, uh, 
checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna go go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think it... No. The oil in the lamp lasted for eight days, and that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long before we play pin the eviction notice on the black guy's door? Now, does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. What are you going to do when Jesus comes back and puts a boot up your ass? We now return to Mark Wahlberg in Annoyed and Confused. What? What's going on? I don't get it. Man, I gotta work out. What's going on here? Where am I? What the... Huh? What the hell's going on here? Huh? What? Think about what you're saying. Parker Lewis can't lose. Heretofore, Batman can suck on that. Suck on that? Suck on this! Tic Tacs have only one and a half calories. Well played. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Cock a doodle doo! Cock a doodle doo! Good night, everybody! Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery since fat women discovered Diet Coke. Now I can eat anything! Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Now it's everywhere! That's comedy. <laughs> See, if you had said something like, Oh, it's half past a freckle. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of the three of you. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this guy. I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> Where's this guy been? Hey, Stewie, can I talk to you for a sec? Look, Brian, I've colored Sebastian the Crab blue. If that isn't a middle finger to society, I don't know what is. Uh, I don't like it anymore. I wish I'd colored him red. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Yell, 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 yell. I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> Oh my, oh, my. oh, my God. Peter, Yeah, I'll tell you, and I'm your friend, and I'll be honest with you, that's funny. I mean, granted, you do think of bears on unicycles when you think of the Russian people, but they're all bears on unicycles? Bears on unicycles, everyone. Now go, bananas. Go, go, bananas. Go! Whoa! Come on, you guys, do it with me. Go, bananas! Yeah! <laughs> on your marks, get set, white guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. Keep the change. <laughs> now you are gonna hold down that football until Charlie Brown kicks it. You got that? <laughs> yes. Now go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> Yay! I ad-libbed that line. Well, I had no idea I was dating a famous actor. Have archaeologists ever discovered ancient Egyptian pottery in her vagina? You know what? And that one was too wordy. That one was too wordy. That that was that was flawed from the ground up. It wasn't funny, and we'll work on it and get back to you. <sighs> Here we go. Playboys, women of the Olympics. Wow, those are some broad shoulders. Okay, I guess small boobs are good for swimming. That that those are balls. Well, now, now, hang on, Quagmire. There's no guarantee it's your baby. Giggity? Oh, I say that. And Mr. Chinaman say in his Chinaman way, a ding a ling a ching a chong a ching a chong chu. Housekeeper, aren't you? See. Si. Listen, I don't want to point fingers, but I'm missing about a thousand dollars in play money. I take. Uh, what? What? You you took it? See. Si. We'll give it back. Come get, bitch. No. No.
There once was a boy who liked to suck his thumbs. His mother asked him to stop, but he wouldn't. So she cut off his thumbs. Now he has no thumbs. Good night. The African American Heart Monitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he did. You look very nice. What else? Uh. What about my shoe? They're nice too. How you think my house smell? Not oniony. You good man? I pat you on the head and feed you from the hand. Hi, chair. That's still a chair. Chair. Say something other than chair. What if I can't think of anything? You can pass. How do I pass? Just say it. Say what? Say pass. Chair. <laughs> I think you've had enough, Peter. Yeah, you don't know. You get away! I I know my body better than you. Hey, good looking. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> oh, we should totally phone Gaspard. Oh, he would love to hear this tale. Oh, but I only have 15 Fenix on my phone card. Happy Gerbits Day. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. For I am not who you think I am. I am not Little Mary Sunflower, daughter of Bradley and Teresa Sunflower. No, I'm not. I'm Desmond Sunflower! Desmond Sunflower! Go for a ride in the car? <gasps> Come on! Well, I'm off to buy imaginary groceries. So what do you say we get this casting session started, huh? Let's do it! Yeah! All right! <laughs> and the Oscar goes to... A red guy! Douchebag who keeps dying. I'm not a douchebag. I'm new. Look, if you're no good, why don't you just go hide to the end? All right, I'll go crouch behind the. Uh, is this a crouch button? Ah, oh, who dropped the grenade? Idiot! We're gonna play. Moron! You suck, Mr. Peter, Mr. Joe, Mr. Bonnie. She doesn't know what Mister means. Mr. Mort, Mr. Muriel. Mayor West, mister. Well, he could be. It all depends on what his astrological sign is. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. What's going on, B minus? What's a haps? Come on. Oop. I. Oop. Just. Oop. You. Oop. This is. Oop. Can I. Oop. I'm just messing with you, man. You can do whatever you want. I was just kidding you. Why are you so serious? Hey, Griffin. Griffa. Griffa Mano. I've got veins. Hey, I've got veins. They carry blood all over my body. That's how John Mayer would say it. Baddy. I'm really into him now. You better be okay with it. This is my old bicycle that I had from when I was 10. Are you still going out with him? I guess so. I hate how he pushes his bangs out of his face with every word he says. Um, order me a beer. I have to find a spot for my motorcycle. Hey, buddy, where are all your pals? Playing baseball. Well, why aren't you playing with them? Because I don't have a glove. Oh, yeah? Gee, just for me? No fooling? Nah, just kidding. It's mine. Oh, yeah. Sweetie, since when do you wear reading glasses? What, these? I've had these forever. Honey, those aren't real. Sure they are. Mm, no, they're not. I can see the little Austin Powers logo on the side. What are you talking about? These are my glasses. Yeah, baby! I'm not quite so sure I can find my way. Please leave a message at the beep. Alan, it's me again. Remember that turtle joke for the party. <laughs> uh, Brian, this feels weird. Hit the button. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
We know that, um, you, um, killed Lois. Um, hello? This is so humiliating. For God's sake, I went to Brown, and he's got me out here tied to a post like some kind of... <laughs> Ow! Ow! Where am I gonna go next? What interesting adventure. You don't know. I'll have my award now. Dee -hee, I lied. I was a princess the whole time. You bitch, I'm gonna punch you in the face. So, you want to get something to eat? Can we go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food? Oh, let's go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food! Well, you're doing a lot better now, Cleveland. I mean, you went from a black woman to a white woman without having to take that Hispanic woman step in between. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Cleveland. Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. The rooster goes... Kikrigi! Where? Where does the rooster say that? The monkey goes... Macaque! No, 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 it does not! The elephant goes... Fwomp! Oh, yeah, kinda. Rupert, suddenly I want to run! Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. We brought you some chocolates. Oh, I can't eat those chocolates on account of my diabetes. Remember they had to take my foot? Look on the bright side. Now you get your shoes half price. Ha ha ha. Alright, maybe I'll have one. Oh boy! Ah! What the fuck? Why would you do that? Hey, you guys, Lois says it's time for dinner. So, you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store! All you stay out my store! I remember you face! A lot of people say that Stacy's no good and that she slept with this guy and done that guy and even did some handwork on this guy. But I'll tell you something, that experience is gonna work in her favor late in the game. You know what a heck of a wedding? Brett Favre. <laughs> And then we go to an A minor Getting a little cloudy out here Looking like we might have some weather Then we go to E minor Oh, definitely got some weather Things are a little more complicated than they seemed at first And then we go back to my house Hey, hey, that's the guy That's the guy whose chin looks like a... a... Balls. <laughs> <laughs> we can go where we want to, place where they will never find, and we can act like we come from a. No, 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 no! Oh, that's got all my stink of the day in it. That's nasty. So how the medical experiments go? So good, Lois. So good. I'm gonna squeeze right in here if my thighs will let me. Ha ha ha! Oh, Gambling is illegal in this town. Says who? Says me. You got a problem with that? I'm not really sure. Kind of waiting for you to exhale. Actually, yeah, I do have a problem with that. Hello? What the? What, what, who's there? What's going on? Whatever's happening here, just knock it off. Oh, cool. Look at that. Hey, Chris, go long. Ah! Ah! Touchdown! Dear Lord, please give me the cheat codes for Mike Tyson's punch out. I have been stuck on Bald Bull for four years. I tried left, left, up, B, dodge, uppercut, but he still knocks me out. And, you know, they say you're supposed to go right, B, up, dodge, left, up, well, listen to me telling you how to play the game. You can get a scratching post down at Walmart for $2.
pair of Lee jeans for $9. You know they got seats for children now, you put them right in your car? Supposed to make them safer. Only problem is you can't lean your seat all the way back. Oh. Okay, you, you can read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. No, you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's let's read it both together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here's, Here's Ollie, Ollie Williams, Williams with, with a Blacky Weather, weather forecast. forecast. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Wow, my favorite. PB&J with the crust cut off. What'd you get? Your crusts. That's it? No. I also got an orange peel and a picture of mom eating a turkey leg. Chris Griffin, you are undoubtedly the most unpopular boy in school. I am? What about Smiley McGee over there? Hello. Lois, I'm fat and I'm stupid, and I fart at times that ruin my father-in-law's social occasions, and that's why I'm never invited to them. You pay me now? Ooh, there's Joe. Say, Joe, I think you're cool. Joe, I think you're cool. Well, thank you, Brian. That's gonna get me through the rest of this yard work. No, just kidding, you suck. No, just kidding, you suck. Queer. Queer? <laughs> When I'm lost in your eyes. I don't even care. They don't know what they's talking about. Next time they hear about me, they, they, they's gonna be like, we was wrong about Stewie. Cause, cause that's gonna be huge. I, that's gonna be bigger than every one of all y'alls. I got you now, mouth! Yeah? Well, up your ass, cat. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Run fast, run fast, quickly! I like to eat people from other planets. Especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop. I've got so many problems. Hey, nothing that can't be fixed by staring at a lake. High school is such a serious thing. These problems matter. If he says one more cool thing, he's in. I wear long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. Wow. Oh my god, oh you're my awesome. God, you're so, you're so cool. awesome. Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what, what? Ha <laughs> ha! Hey guys, let's go swim in the old quarry! Yeah! Wait a minute, kids. Don't go swimming in that quarry. It's dangerous. Wow! Thanks, G.I. Jose! You know, you're not supposed to be in the house, Brian. You're more of an outdoor dog. What the hell does that mean? I ain't done nothing to antagonize nobody. What, a droid can't walk down the desert no more? I got rights, too. Who's there? <laughs> Thank you, we're the Cantina Band. If you have any requests, shout them out. Play that same song. All right, same song, here we go. Did you hear something? Probably just another drill. You know that last drill we had? I was about to finally bone my girlfriend, and then we heard that there was this drill, and she told me there was no way. Oh, Vince Vaughn's on the cover of Entertainment Weekly. Here's my summary of every Vince Vaughn movie. Oh, I'm incapable of loving another person. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. The end. I don't even want to look at his face. Which calls to mind the question once again, why, with all the two armed youngsters waiting in the minor leagues, does this team stick with an armless second baseman? And he hasn't had a hit in ever. In ever, Jerry. I'd have to give it to Janet Reno, because I've always had this business plan for home delivery of prescription medications, and that, that seems like it's more her market. This is stupid. I want to talk about vaginas! Yeah. Oh, and you got a little tear on your pants there. Oh, that's on purpose, though, isn't it? Uh, uh, you're a bad boy. You're a bad boy. Society wants your pants to be intact, but you're just not going to listen, are you? Look at this one. A desk of Cheez-Its. A desk? Where, where are you getting these units of measurement from? Mary. <laughs> that is still funny. Okay, you stay right here, big funny gal. I'll be right back with... A hammock of cake. Don't worry, I'm not taking you pansies, I'm taking my new friends. Now, this is Parker, Quentin, and Portland. Is Portland the black one? Portland is the black one. Hey guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. 
That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. This is a song I wrote last summer. It's called Water. My hair is growing, growing all the time. All right, sweetie, you ready to get some new notebooks and protractors and slacks? I want blue jeans. You're getting slacks! Stewie, what are you doing? Oh, just doing a little Tai Chi. You know how the Asians look 30 until they're 60? This is why. Of course, then they suddenly look 100, but cross that bridge, you know. Is this a Japanese thing? No, Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Hey, you want to see a movie? No, nah, we're Japanese. Let's go watch a schoolgirl bang an octopus. Yeah! good. <laughs> Has Dad found a permanent job yet? Meg, your father's going through a bit of a career transition. He's just sampling a few things, searching for something that fits him just right. <gasps> well, clearly it's not that tube top. Hey, looking for a good time, sweet cheek? Oh, my God. Peter, get in the car. Okay, but it'll cost you. What do you want, a Cleveland steamer? I said get in the car. What's a Cleveland steamer? It means that he'll... Whoa, 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 be cool, be cool. Yeah, so go to Maple Street and then take a left and then uh, you go... Uh... Okay, so you want a party or what? Get in this car right now! It's eerie, isn't it? Like looking into the future. Well, I can't believe Stewie's a commercial star. We haven't had a celebrity in a family since my great aunt, Queen of Burlesque Griffin. Cheesy jokes and ugly broads. Way back when they had no porn, just scarves, fans, fat, gross. A terrible time for your penis to live in. I still love you, Dad. I love you too, Meg. Did somebody order a hot-ass bitch in this lady? Oh, you're alive. Sorry, I was told I was in charge now. Well, if you die, this is kind of the creative direction I'm leaning toward. Oh, my God, Peter. What if she doesn't come out of it? I know, Lois. I never realized until now how much I've taken her for granted. I mean, she's my only daughter, and I feel like I've never treated her as well as I should have. Hey, Meg, you got something on your shirt. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Now, you guys don't know nothing about staying up late. I used to pull all-nighters when I worked for that lesbian carpet cleaning company. Lesbians have regular carpets, too, you pervs. When you're done with that, can you help me plug the hole in this dike? I'm kind of a jack of all trades. Hey, help me fix this gash. Somebody's been having scissor fights on this thing. <laughs> This is just one night, got it? Now, I'm going to call you Rupert. You okay with that? And tomorrow, nothing happened. By the way, I have a sleep number bed. But don't worry, I don't use it for sexual purposes. What do you think of that? That's something you can work with? Peter, can you help me with the... Oh, Peter Griffin! Peter, you come out here right now and clean up this mess. No, you said I could have two friends over, and I didn't. Joe couldn't come. So I only had one friend over, and it was just me and Quagmire, and I said we could make Kool-Aid instead of the other friend. You come out here right now. Bonnie's way cooler than you. Joe has computer games. Yeah, you, you are pretty fat. Um, okay, this is news to me. Uh, boy, this is more awkward than having sex with a rhinoceros who doesn't love you anymore. Why wouldn't you look at me during? <laughs> I miss Dad too, Mom, but we'll manage somehow. We're still a family, right? Yeah, I mean, we're tighter than an Asian family. You doctor yet? No, Dad, I'm 12. Talk to me when you doctor! Good morning, Rupert. Please tell me you set the timer on the coffee maker because I completely forgot. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Good morning. Thought I'd help you wake up. God, why does he look sad? He's already destroyed mankind. What else could he want?
Hey, Carl. Hey, can I get a couple of scratch-off lottery tickets? Oh, sure, Brian. Oh, Brian, can I do one? I love scratches. Well, all right, maybe just one. Cherry. Another cherry. Oh, come on, one more, one more. <laughs> thanks, Carl. Yeah, you're welcome. That was fun. See you later. Hey, uh, thanks for letting me be Yoda. Yep. Okay, now when we get to your mother's cage, say hello, but don't drag your ass, because I want to go to the reptile house. Oh, oh, and we got to see those pandas. Peter, this isn't a zoo, it's a prison. Wagmire, what are you doing here? Oh, it's conjugal visit day. You know I love doing a woman in the can. Oh, giggity, 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 goo. Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire. I do hope nothing happens to spoil this fancy dinner party. <gasps> Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire. I'm glad everything is back to average. Yes, it's happy to be back home. I too am gleeful. You are improper. Your hair is like hay. A horse would eat it. Go into the wood-burning oven. <sighs> I miss our stolen son in America. Do you think he remembers us? Wooden shoe? <laughs> Family man, Dutch TV is probably not that great, we assume. Wow. I actually got the place shut down. I'm glad I was here for this, Brian. We've hardly done anything together since we made that fiber commercial and had to use code words for pooping. Wow, Brian, I've never felt so regular. Yes, you seem exceptionally active while maintaining proper body health. That's right, just two spoonfuls a day to stay regular and active. More coffee, Stewie? Yes, please. Oh dear, that was a mistake. Wait, uh, you mean you're about to be active? Currently active. Cut to the shot of them stirring the product into water. Gurgle Max, take a massive comfort. Oh, God. Oh, there's regular on the carpet. Oh, there's so much regular. Oh, my God, my old harmonica. I'm going to play this really loud tonight to get back at our Armenian neighbors. Hey, hey, looks like a fun party. Um, hey, listen, it's two in the morning. Uh, when is your five-year-old going to go to sleep? Soon, very soon. You want weird food wrapped in weird leaves? Yeah, look, I'm guessing there's some kind of soccer match from your home country going on, and I get that, I do, but uh, some of us are trying to sleep. And I could almost deal with the noise, but it's the cologne, all right? I can smell it in my bed, and I live two houses from here. That's how powerful it is, okay? That's how powerful it is. You like it? Yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting us to your barbecue. Well, it's my pleasure, Lois. Hey, can one of you other men come over here and comment on the meat while I'm cooking it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are looking good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, don't flip them too often now. You don't want to lose your juices. Yeah, yeah, coming along nicely. Oh, those are cooking just fine. Scoop that one up and put it back down in the exact same spot. All right, they're done. Time to eat. Dad, this doesn't help with Christmas. Yeah, we're screwed. Who's gonna decorate? Who's gonna cook Christmas dinner? Okay, calm down. Now, I know your mom's gone, and we're a little worried, but Daddy's got a plan. All right, everybody go outside and kneel face first in front of Daddy's big pre-dug hole. Come on, Peter, we can do this. All right, plan B. I take two pills I got after my root canal and listen to records. It's been four days. You're saying I must return to face this man in white myself. So be it. As the you, kind sage, I only hope my heartfelt thanks will keep you warm as you spend the next ten years in frozen carbonite! <laughs> Ooh, I want to light the candles, Pop Pop. Oh boy, I haven't had this much fun since I played with that buble rap. I just haven't met you yet. Oh, cool. Your mom thinks of me when she's doing your dad. What? Seriously, I drive older women nuts. I can make your mom and aunt kiss. This is a very skeevy packing product.
Ah, cat butt! What do I do? Where do I look? What do I do? Oh, thank God. I almost looked right at it. Ah, I looked right at it! Oh, it looks like a worn-out dartboard bullseye. How was Michael Jackson so into this? Now, come on. Let's forget our problems and get lost in the world of books. Ooh, Horton hears domestic violence in the next apartment and doesn't call 911. You think it's easy working all day? No, You think I, I like it? I don't think it's easy, but yes, I do think you like no, it. No, I, yeah, I like being away from you because I can't stand looking at you. You can't... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you think I want to do that? You think I want to hurt you? Not I don't want to hurt you. you I'm sure there's two sides you to this. Me hurt you. Hey, Brian, look at that. Y'all interested? We just take turns being the sheriff. It's real easy. You just hang out here, eat some pie, and get drunk. Wait, hold on a second. Pie? Drunk? The? You got yourself a sheriff! Boy, it's so quiet around here. I know. It, the, the phone hasn't rang all day. I, I know. There's nothing, nothing to, um... To, uh... Um... Uh, oh boy, what's the word I'm looking for? Do. Uh, Brian, yeah, you're, you're drunk. You're drunk. G g give me your keys. See, I told you, Stewie. You're a big, tough boy. Yes, I guess I am. That may be, Stewie, but if I were you, I'd stay off the field. Concussions are the number one problem in football today. Recent brain scan studies have shown that brain injuries are directly linked to dementia and suicides in former players. Yet the lead! You can play the music louder, but you can't silence the truth! I hate shows that cut away from the story for some bull crap. Oh man, I haven't been this upset since I watched The Blob on television. Look out behind you, lady, it's The Blob! I'll save you! This is awesome! I can get people to pay me ten bucks just for doing stupid stuff? Man, I haven't made money this easy since I invented the yanking. Peter, what's wrong? Well, I want to masturbate, but I'm just so darn cold. Too bad there's no answer for that problem. But now there is. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, creator of The Yankin'. If you're anything like me, the number one problem in your life is that you can't masturbate just anywhere. But now you can. Introducing The Yankin', the only blanket with built-in decoy arms. Our patented process makes it look like you're holding the remote or sipping a beer. Meanwhile, your real hands are under the blanket, going to town. Peter, what are you doing? Nothing. Let's watch a Scarlett Johansson movie. But wait, here's more. We have Yankets for all occasions, sporting events, at the supermarket, on the job. Hey, what's going on under that blanket? You'll never know. Hey! The wind wants my hand to go back, but I'm not letting it. I'm stronger than air. Oh my god, Dad, you lost your hand! That's all right. I can regenerate. My name is Retep, and I am evil. All right, come on. Time for bed, Vinny. I'll tell Peter to turn off the nightlight this time. No, I need it for in case there's witches. <sighs> Good night, Finny. Good night, Stewie. Hey, you guys know which room is Peter's? Across the hall. Ah, it's too bright in there. Never mind. Sorry, excuse me, fat wife. Uh, oh, hold on a sec. All right, bring her through. Peter, stop it. For God's sakes, you're embarrassing me. Not as embarrassed as I was when I got that job entertaining prison inmates. Do it again, Griffin. Oh, come on. I just did it like five times. Do it. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. Dad, what are we doing here? Now that I sweat all the time, it's just natural that I'd be a very sweaty bomb diffuser. Steady. You can do this. All you gotta do is remember the song you learned in bomb school. Green is good, and green is good, and red is good, and yellow is good, and clip whatever you want. Now who can tell me what he did wrong? He made up a song about cutting he wires? He made up a song about cutting wires. Don't do that, guys. 
And instead of lasting for one day, the oil in the lamp lasted for eight days. And that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long before we play pin the eviction notice on the black guy's door? Now, does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. What are you going to do when Jesus comes back and puts a boot up your ass? And it's also why many families give their children eight days of presents. Wait, did she say eight days of presents? Yeah. Yeah, this Judaism thing is going to be better than I thought. All right, class, that's all for today's lesson. Now everyone off to gym class. All right, today we're going to play soccer. Huh, that was easy. Great news, guys. I may have gotten you booked at a horse's birthday party. Mort, you're fired. What? Sorry, Mort, but this is a cutthroat business, and we need someone tough in our corner, like Indonesian kickboxer Agus Banwati. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Disappear. Disappear. Come on. Come on. Oh, I think we got to the root of the problem, didn't we, Lois? Absolutely. All right, let's dope her up good. Turn that mouth off. No, Peter, the problem is you. What? What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be my friend. Dr. Brown, I just killed nine people. Ah, uh, I mean, I have ducks on my feet. Old crazy harmless mayor. Quack, quack. All right, Meg, stay incredibly still. I'm going to whip that cigarette out of your mouth and maybe not slice your face in half. Dad, I don't want to do this. Stay still. Ah! Okay, that's pretty cool, too. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. Ah, I thought you couldn't understand me. Peter, why are there so many bottles of milk in the refrigerator? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk. It's horse sperm. I'm a horse breeder now. Whoops, gotta go. I've got lunch with the girls. Well, I thought I was one of the girls. You're one of the gals. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I bet Joe was only able to do it because he was thinking of me. Chris? I've been caught, but I'll never be sorry. Boy, I went hard at my fat guy's wrestling club today. I understood that with great reward comes great risk. Man, this is going to be a fun day. Much better than that day I tried tag body spray for sick cats. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, no, no. You're cute. You're cute. I, I, I don't want to pet you, though. Uh, uh, all right. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, oh, no, okay, no, yeah, no, this this spray is not for me. I don't know, I, I haven't felt this out of place since that week I lived with Superman. We must stop Lex Luthor before he irradiates the world's supply of gold. Uh, hi, uh, sorry, I know you got a meeting going on, but, um, so we are officially running low on Mr. Pibb and Cheez-Its, so, um... Just putting it out there, if you're heading to the store later, uh, you know, 800-mile uh, drive for me, like uh, five seconds for you. Whatever, I'm not here. Oh, I've got to do something. Jasper's always been there for me when I've needed him. I am going to make Mayor West change his mind. But, Brian, the Bible says gay marriage is an abomination. Oh, don't give me that young Republican crap, Chris. The Bible also says a senior citizen built an ark and rounded up two of every animal. Hey. Yeah? What the hell is this? Oh, you didn't really give any specific guidelines about mating. Did you name it? What? Did you name it? Uh, yeah, he's Paul. Yeah? Well, it's gonna be a hell of a lot harder for you now because he's going the f overboard. Some will win! Some will lose! Some are born to sing the blues! Oh, the movie never ends, it goes on! This is perfect, Lois. We'll expose Loretta for who she is. Just like Cyrano was exposed for being anti-Semitic. I love you for all that you are. In spite of the fact that your people control a disproportionate amount of the world's wealth. 
and in all likelihood are probably responsible for starting every major war since the dawn of time. Dude, again with this? What's your problem? Who's in the bush? Mind your own business, you stupid Jew. Dr. Hartman, we're here for you to help Peter quit smoking. Mrs. Griffin, I can't do that. It's an addiction. I can't even get my son to quit being gay. Well, you gotta do something. He's killing himself. Ugh, all right, how many Vicodins for you guys to just leave me alone? Forty. Well, it's too bad Dr. Hartman couldn't help us. I guess we should go to the Stop Smoking Clinic and then maybe get a couple bottles of wine. It's already below freezing and it's getting colder. We're gonna die unless... unless we do something drastic. What? We have to slice open our camel's stomach and shelter ourselves in his entrails. <gasps> if it's a raid, Chucky, I won't do it. Look, we're gonna die if we don't. <sighs> All right. Oh, God, it's like Olson Welles' autopsy. All right, just hold your breath and go. Reverend Peter, I gotta talk to you. Last night I had sex with a teenage blonde and her mother. Well, that's quite a story, Quagmire, but my church doesn't have confession, so there's really no reason for you to tell me. Are you kidding? I'm telling everybody. giggity goo -ga. Well, wait a minute, Peter. Maybe that's the answer. You just gotta get his mother to take him back. How the hell am I supposed to do that? She's an idiot redneck, Peter. Tricking her should be easier than escaping from Canadian Alcatraz. Can I go through here? Just be back by bedtime. Okay. Look, Mahmoud's my friend, okay? So he's Muslim. Every culture has its quirks. Italian guys talk with their hands a lot. Irish guys drink a lot. Black guys change their shirts while they tell you a story. So how's Bernadette? She's all right. She's taking interior design classes down at the community college. I mean, she's good at haircutting and everything. They gave her the chair right by the door. But I guess now she wants to hang plates on the wall or whatever. And you know she gained a weight back from the lap band, right? That Bernadette in her pie. You know it, brother. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this steak in the bathroom. Thanks for getting dinner. You know who I hate? The troops. Yeah, me too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you? I'm Peter Griffin. I'm the guy who ruined television, and I'm the guy who's gonna fix it. Guys, I broke television, and now you have to help me fix it. Yeah, looks like this is one we beat you to. Relax, Stewie. The doctor gave me this so you can get some exercise. Boy, Stewie's more wound up than Dad was that time he took steroids. Peter, could you please pass the potatoes? <laughs> ah, damn it, Meg! Boy, am I gonna enjoy this meal. Not like last night when I didn't have time to poop before the guests arrived. Do I have time? You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Son of a bitch! Looks like I'm gonna have to pile dinner on top of that. Hey, guys, how are ya? Hey, Lois, if I was going to kill myself, do I slit my wrists this way or this way? Sideways for attention, long way for results. Meg is right. Okay, I'll be in the garage. Peter, put that knife down. Lois, I don't have any friends, so I'm going to kill myself and get a full page in the yearbook. Then they can't ignore me. Who's that? I don't know. Yeah, Lois is right. As bad as you look, the damage you've done to your heart and your lungs is no doubt exponentially worse. What? Well, try cutting to the outside of the house over some music. That usually works. I hate shows that cut away from the story for some bull crap. Well, I have two questions. Will there be a stipend? Yes. Ah, and what is a stipend? It's a fee for being in the commercial. I'm in. How do you know what's inside you unless you test yourself? Don't do one push-up. Do 100. Don't run one mile. Run a marathon. Don't have one family. Have a second family all the way across the country. Don't just have a second family. Have a third family in Santa Fe with an alternative lifestyle. Don't spend any time with the first two families. Make a commitment to family number three and double down by announcing it at his war hero father's retirement party. Don't go to the funeral, because remember, you got two other families to deal with and a marathon to train for. Don't just let Kenneth walk out of your life. Take his life from him. Don't just go to jail. Go to death row by killing the two other families. Don't just let anyone have their closure by apologizing. Send a message that you're not afraid of hell. Nike. You may not know this, but our full name is Nike. Uh, yes, if perchance it is beautiful, 
I reserve the right to cry. Peter, I can't imagine any scenario where this is going to be beautiful. Oh, I can. I'm a very passionate man. Haven't you ever seen my Spanish soap operas? Mi amor. Papa. Niño. Bueno. Wagmire, what, what, what are you doing here? You don't have kids. <laughs> don't be so sure, Brian. I've slept with chicks all over the world. Who knows? I could have kids in their 20s. ¿Dónde demonios estabas? Es más de la una y media de la mañana. Eso no significa que no Giggity puede vivir. Maldita sea, Giggity. A veces me pones furiosa. No puedo hablar contigo, Giggity, cuando te pones así. Me voy a ver los toros, Giggity, Giggity, Giggity. Gemini. Oh. Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> Well, I know you're not a Virgo. Ah. Hey, from down here, you look like a Pisces. Ah. Reverend Peter, I gotta talk to you. Last night I had sex with a teenage blonde and her mother. Well, that's quite a story, Quagmire, but my church doesn't have confession, so there's really no reason for you to tell me. Are you kidding? I'm telling everybody. giggity goo -ga. Where'd you get this kind of money? The penis enlargement pill you gave me the startup money for. It turned a pretty nice profit. And if it makes you feel better, it was money well spent. Just ask Sandra, the waitress over there. We had a great time last night. Tough girl. Made it into work. Hey, Glenn. How's the arthritis? Oh, not bad. Of course, since you walked in, I'm feeling a little stiff. Giggity gig. Oh, I just pooped a little. Oh, that's nasty. What are you gonna do? Wait a minute. Yesterday, near the North Beach, I saw a small landing strip. Giggity. It might be our best chance to get off Giggity the Island. Did you really see that, or was it just an excuse to say giggity? I don't know, baby. I'm crazy with the heat. Take your pants off. Oh, hi, Meg. Hi, Mr. Quagmire. What can I do for you? I was wondering if I could borrow some roofies. Oh, sure, sure. Just a sec. Roofies, huh? Pretty big pill for such a little girl. Yeah, I know. But I asked someone to do me a favor, and they're not too keen on doing it. Oh, I know what they're for, honey. So, how's school? Oh, good. Thanks. Stop. Wow, I'd like to play doctor with her and, and remove her inflamed appendix before it bursts, causing sepsis. Giggity, giggity, giggity. He's going well? Yeah, yeah, mostly A's and B's so far this semester. Oh, that's so great. Seeing anyone special these days? Yay, obviously, right? <laughs> right, of course, yeah. Okay, well, listen, good luck with everything, and uh, call me if you get arrested. I will. Thanks. That's what it's all about, Glenn. Don't rape it back, rape it forward. Oh my God, we don't know any songs. You oh, suck! Get off the stage! Yeah. What do we do? I know what I'm doing. I'm getting out of here. Giggity, 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 go! Well, hello, Liz. <laughs> Forgive me for pointing. Quick, I need to borrow your car. I've got a bar mitzvah to stop. <laughs> no problem. Let me grab my keys. Here they are. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I'm glad we waited. <coughs> Giraffity! Yeah, see, that's not mine. Okay, now add 20. Okay. Now multiply it by 4. Okay. And what do you got? 8,008. And what does 8,008 look like on a calculator? Oh, boob! Boob, yeah! All right, all right, all right, boob! What if we had two calculators and we put them next to each other? <gasps> yes, 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 find one, yes! Is that that now, Mrs. That's That? If you're gonna shoot me, you might wanna tie your shoelaces first. Ah! Now, are you gonna go to Meg's play or not? Yes! You like eating red carpet, tough guy? Yes! Say you like eating red carpet! I like eating red carpet! Giggity. All right, Peter, we're closing in. Get ready to fire. Giggity, 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 giggity
Did you toothpaste? <gasps> oh my god, excuse me. Hey, no problem, Meg. You probably bought me another three minutes. Giggity, 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 giggity. Those swimsuit issues don't excite me like they used to. I've been spoiled by internet porn. It's true. Totally. What do you mean, internet porn? You, uh, don't know about internet porn? Don't know what? I'm not really a computer guy. Quagmire, I would think you of all people would know about internet porn. They've got like thousands, literally millions of naked pictures on the internet. What? And videos, thousands of them. You guys are messing with me. Quagmire, you don't use the internet? You mean that crappy dial-up thing that's a pain in the ass? No, I don't use the damn internet. I thought that was for nerds. Why didn't you guys tell me? Oh, yeah, you can even see Tanya Harding's honeymoon video on there. I mean, it's gross, but it's like famous gross. Wagmire, what are you doing here? Oh, it's conjugal visit day. You know I love doing a woman in the can. Oh, giggity, 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 goo. Happy birthday. Hey, hey, where's that pinky going, huh? Where's he going? What, what's he do? Get back here. There you go. Come up with 50 grand by tomorrow. Well, you could whore yourself out to a thousand fat chicks for 50 bucks a piece. Or, or, or 50 really fat chicks for a thousand bucks. What? Don't look at me like that. Fat chicks need love, too. But they gotta pay. Brian's a complete dick, we all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on, when are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! <laughs> My God, this is more pussy than even I can handle. Is he gonna say giggity? Should I say giggity? Are other people allowed to say giggity? Giggity. What? Nothing. It's stupid. Peter, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. <laughs> we don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire, aren't you going to get in on this? I, uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. Can I help you, sir? Hi there. My name's Glenn Griffin. Uh, I'm here to pick up my son, Peter, for a ball game. A uh, doctor's appointment? Peter is your son? That is affirmative. Uh, because you look a lot more like that child over there. Daddy? Oh, God! He really is born again. Well, he could be. It all depends on what his astrological sign is. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Daddy? Oh, God! Papa? Oh, God! Hey, there are no kids in here, right? No, just me. Oh, thank God. You want to have unprotected sex? Hmm. Uh, I gotta hear more. <laughs> Peter, the power's not supposed to go that high. Damn, this itches. I wonder who gave it to me. Probably that skank who needed a ride to the gas station. Last time I do somebody a favor. Oh, God, they must have heard me. Oh, God, I can hear me. Ah, Joe, finally! Did you watch Paralyzed too? Guys, I don't think I can make it today. It's looking like Bonnie might go into labor any minute, so I think I should stick close to home. It's your fault for knocking her up. That's why I always use a condom. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't even say that with a straight face. This is going to be a bigger pain in the ass than getting into a last clap contest with Cleveland. Ladies and gentlemen, the Quahog Men's Chorus. Hey, hey, hey! Clap one more time, you're not coming to my birthday. Who did that? Giggity. Mr. Quagmire, which box do these beads go in? Let me smell them. They go in the big box. Quagmire, I can't believe you're moving. Look, give it time. This whole thing will blow over. Oh, it's too awkward. It's best for everyone if I just leave. Well, that's too bad. We never got to do that Joe Quagmire lunch. Well, that'll do it. A woman for sex? Because Jillian deserves better. She has feelings, you know, and she's devoted a lot of time and energy to this relationship with some expectation that it could grow into something much more significant. And if you're just stringing her along, well, then I gotta say, I've lost a lot of respect for you, Brian. Peter, Quagmire's serious about this. You gotta do something. You're right. Quagmire, wait! You almost left without this.
You want me to be the one who says jiggity now? Y you don't really think I'm like that, do you? Prove me wrong. All right, I will, Lois. I will ask her to move in with me, and you'll see I've got what it takes. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Ooh, I gotta say, that was fantastic. What do you say we go back to your place for round two? Sounds good to me. Wow, three times in a row. You're amazing, Glenn. Oh, I just take a lot of pride in what I do. Well, at least you guys celebrate with your families. Last year, I spent Thanksgiving with my old blow-up sex dolls. Here you go, Carla. See, we can do other things together. How's the turkey? I made it myself. Oh, don't look so surprised. Oh, someone's getting sleepy. Must be the tryptophan. I'll put a pot of coffee on. Janet, coffee? Carla, coffee? Dina, coffee? Sasha, coffee? Dad, coffee? I wish I had given you more siblings, Glenn. Peter, the water's rising fast. We gotta get out of here. Hang on, Lois. There's a case of beer in the fridge. I can't leave that behind. Meg, you're a good swimmer. Go get it. What? But, Dad... And for God's sake, do not be afraid to make me a sandwich while you're in there. Peter, Meg's been in there a long time. Boy, you cannot wait to criticize her at every turn, can you? Go get her! Well, Lois, I am sorry for snapping at you earlier. You were right to criticize Meg. She could not even handle this simple task. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. All right, well, since Brian's not coming back, I, I guess you and I should try to develop our own comedic patter. Guess so. Oh, hey, can I get some of that pie and Cool Whip? What did you say? We can't have pie without Cool Whip. That's not how you're supposed to say it. You said it weird. Whoa, buddy. It was, it was just a joke. Somehow this is at my expense. I know it. No, it's a goof, man. It's my bit, bud. Oh, you like bits, huh? Well, this is my bit. Want to ride the Stewie go round? Ah! Make it stop. I can't. It's like an SNL bit. Too long with no ending. Well, it's 3.50. That's basically four. I mean, in some cultures, it's polite to do things ten minutes early. You know, if it's good with water, it'd be even better with wine, huh? Just like Jesus says. <gasps> oh, well, Brian, Brian, was that the last pill? Yes, but that's fine, because my arm's all better. Oh, so now you're a doctor. Of letters from Hofstra, yes. Yeah, well, 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 there's nothing I love more than my dog, Brian, and I'm not going to take the chance that he doesn't have enough pills just in case. Lois, I'm good. I don't want to get hooked on those things. Who wants to go for a ride in the car? Hey, Dr. Griffin! Yeah, Hofstra! Hofstra, pets need safety schools, too. Okay, if anyone has drugs, it's high school kids under the bleachers. Hey, Daddy-O's, anyone want to blast off to Mars? No, uh, what? Well, what I'm saying is I'm Lucy. Where's the sky with diamonds? Excuse me, ma'am. Are you lost? No, I want pills. Give me pills. Aren't you kids doing drugs under here? No, we're picking up trash and organizing a Black Lives Matter rally. Oh, how could you be so selfish? Hey, Daddy-O's. They don't have drugs. Later, alligators. I think we're stuck here. Yeah. I'm also bummed because I'm missing that Australian guy's marriage to his catamaran. Didgeridoo, you take this boat to be your wife? I didgeridoo. And now, if there are any spiders the size of dinner plates that object to this marriage, please speak now or forever hold your peace. Go get him, mate. I now pronounce you man and boat. <laughs> I say, Brian, look, three rows down. What? Is that Tom Bosley? What would Tom Bosley be doing on a train in Switzerland? I'm, I'm almost certain. Tom! Did he look? I don't know. Well, if I yell, you have to watch. Tom Bosley! No, it's not him. Huh. Ah, Joe, thank you so much for inviting us to your barbecue. Well, it's my pleasure, Lois. Hey, can one of you other men come over here and comment on the meat while I'm cooking it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are looking good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
Yeah, don't flip them too often now. You don't want to lose the juices. Yeah, yeah, coming along nicely. Oh, those are cooking just fine. Scoop that one up and put it back down in the exact same spot. All right, they're done. Time to eat. Oh, my God, look at that. Wow, that looks pretty bad. Is the Chinese guy dead? Damn, which one's a Chinese one? That's probably it. You stop making bing bong. Every bing bong, two cent. What you want? Uh, yeah, I'm here to pick up my cleaning. Peter, I want you to meet your family. Your... my family? That's right. These are your children. Dad, I'm Chris. I I'm your son. Never seen you before in my life. Wow, then I must be invisible! Hey, everybody, I'm invisible! Oh, no, you're not. Hot diggity. How'd you pay for all this? I got a job as a field reporter for Channel 5 News. And all the juice is being collected underneath? Yes, and whoever collects the most is going to win a free weekend here at the Chateau with international foods and wine tasting. Stop! Oh-ho! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Oh, oh, gosh, I, I hope he's all right. Well, we'll have to send someone to make sure that he is. Okay, Stewie, let's get that little face washed off, then you can play with your bath toys, huh? No, oh, I hate getting my face washed. Oh, look, it's just Mr. Frog. Hello, Mr. Frog. <laughs> my God, how the hell do I keep falling for that? Now you play with your toys, and I'll go get you a nice fluffy towel. Mm. Oh. No more treats, do we? You're going to spoil your dinner. Oh, come on! Oh, damn my small stature! If I were big, oh, just think where I would be. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Big and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. Mom, why do I have to take a bath with Stewie? Because, Meg, Estelle told me that someone in the family was in danger of drowning and that I should take some steps to prevent it. So from now on, everybody has a bath buddy. Hey, Meg, watch. <laughs> God, I'm sick of Mort always borrowing our stuff. He's a bigger mooch than the Mexican super friends. Hey, uh, Mexican Superman, can I talk to you for a sec? When you signed the lease, you said there was going to be like five of you living here. Oh, no, they're not all living here. They're just visiting. Hey, Mexican Superman, I got the keys made. Hey, Mexican Batman, get out of here. What? I got like 60 keys. Silencio, jefe aquí. Que? Eviction. <laughs> I say, this is quite impressive. Buddhism is an Asian religion that also has a significant following of annoying white people. Okay. See, these guys believe that after you die, you're reincarnated and you come back as a pig or a cow or a rooster. Okay, okay, that's good. I already know what noises to make if I'm one of those. But they also don't believe in demonstrating emotions either way, so they're the worst people to buy birthday gifts for. I know you've been having trouble getting around, so I bought you a new Lexus. And I got you this tie clip. Thank you both. These are equal to me. Screw you! You don't even own a tie! I mean, you couldn't possibly have sanctioned that kind of blatant industrial pollution, could you? Yeah, I told him it was fine. What? And in return, I get free oil from my hair. Hey, baby. Want to take a gander at some Adam West penis? It's good to have you back, buddy. Thanks, Dad. I didn't really fit in there anyway. The rooms were only 15 by 20. Ah! 
Uh, if I didn't learn to laugh at myself, I'd be dead right now. Why don't you take your stuff up to your room, Chris? Okay, Mom. Cut it out! I'm just trying to live my life! No one taught me about carbs! You know what, Peter? Uh, maybe there's a silver line into this fiasco. Not thinking about sex all the time seems to have allowed Chris to excel in other areas. He does seem sharper. Heck, the old Chris couldn't even figure out the self-checkout at the supermarket. Please place the item in the bagging area. Please remove the item from the bagging area. Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. Ha 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 ha. I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Hey, Bri, check out my new whip. Pretty cool, huh? You might even say it's a cool yeah, whip. I'm not doing that. Oh, you know, fun. And it's not just them. Chris has also been developing some very expensive tastes. Model glue, sir. Well, what do we have today? Today, we have a recent vintage procured just this morning from Michael's Hobby Shop. Yes, that's very nice. Bring me my finest rag. Your fancy rag, sir. You are relieved for the evening. <laughs> you don't see poor people doing this. And you, you're done. Clean out your locker. Kicked out? I'm totally screwed, like those poor guys who had to come up with a new ad campaign for Subway. Hey, I'm Mike. I like sandwiches and people my own age. Subway, please don't think of pedophilia. Here, play with this. At least you can spend your final moments doing something you enjoy. You know, it's funny, I had actually stopped playing with that toy, but now that I see you with it, I kind of want to play with it again. <laughs> Look at me, I'm mowing the lawn. <laughs> You're right, Lois. I shouldn't be bullying the people I care about. I should be bullying Randy Fulcher. He's the jerk in all this. Like Dick Cheney when he was a Walmart greeter. Go f*** yourself. Go f*** yourself. Go f*** yourself. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Sumo Tonight. Brought to you by Asian Tricks. Silly Wabbit, Twix are for kids. You shall! <laughs> <laughs> Well, everything's all set for Stewie's birthday party. I can't believe he's almost a year old. Yeah, I'll never forget the day he was born. One more push, Lois. Uh... This is quite a miracle, Mr. Griffin. Would you like to have a look? Yeah, you know, I've never actually seen a live baby being... Oh, God! Congratulations, Mrs. Griffin. It's a boy. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think we're through here. Oh, my God. Is it twins? No, it's a, a map of Europe. I guess things not always what they seem. Yeah. I mean, except for Ronan Farrow, who is clearly Woody Allen's son and absolutely not Frank Sinatra's. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad you could make it home for the family dinner, Ronan. You got it, Four Eyes. Wouldn't miss a dinner with my cuckoo dad for the world. Hey, Anime Wong, no ticky, no shirty. I'm just getting around, Rice Bowl. Jeez, lighten up. This room is tighter than Ava Gardner's caboose. Us, right? It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> Chris, are you all right? Please say something. I don't think Jordan Peele has the talent we've attributed to him. Because of the lake water, uh, I said some things that I did not mean. Jordan Peele is our greatest living filmmaker and visionary, both in comedy and in drama. There is nothing he can't do. Good. Now let's make some twin porn. Hit me again and you got a deal. Mm. Oh. No more treats, Stewie. You're going to spoil your dinner. Oh, come on. Oh, damn my small stature. If I were big, oh, just think where I would be. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Big and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. Oh, 
Oh, a parking ticket. I was gone five minutes. Oh, how could this day get any worse? Oh, my God. Meg, Carlisle Academy's a private school. We can't afford it. Don't you remember how much money your father wasted so he could make grand staircase entrances? Hey, is Peter here? Uh, hang on. Peter! Why, Glenn Quagmire, it's been ten years if it's been a day. Hello, Your Majesty. I have recovered the crown jewels. Mum, may I say it's been a pleasure serving you, but I've decided to retire. We are losing interest in this conversation. It would be a wonderful cap on my career to have a knighthood. Come, come now, Holmes. You're not... Sometimes the bigger ladies take a little longer, you see. Oh, come on, Chris. Everybody's done something they're not proud of. Like when I used to be a Wonder Twin. Peter, the old schoolhouse is on fire. Let's go. Wonder, Wonder Twin, Twin powers, powers activate. activate. Form of a hawk. Come on, Peter. Yeah, I'll be right behind you. Shape of Jaina's tampon. <laughs> and now I play the waiting game. Cat butt! What do I do? Where do I look? What do I do? Oh, thank God. I almost looked right at it. Ah, I looked right at it! Oh, it looks like a worn-out dartboard bullseye. How was Michael Jackson so into this? Hey, Lois, I'd like you to meet our new friend... Jerome? Loose Lois. What? You guys know each other? Know each other? Peter, Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? Yes. I see we're smoking. We're not smoking, we're vaping. What's the difference? Smoking is for losers. Vaping is for douchebags. Stewie, if mom and dad see you with that thing, they'll kill me. Get rid of it. No way, it's awesome. Watch this. I'm not good at the football part. Let's face it, this is the most fun we've had since Mom got hooked on coffee and bought that Al Pacino maker. <laughs> Stewie, it's 2 a.m. Revenge doesn't sleep. Come on, come back to bed. No! There's something I gotta do. Go get him, Tiger. Hey! Shut your f***ing mouth. Dog whistle! Dog whistle! Where are you, dog? Me? Oh, I don't like it. Well, at least make sure all the liquids are gone, please, before you throw them. Smithers, who is that young go-getter? That's a character from another show, sir. Simpson, you say? Pretty much, sir. Hey, at least you're not getting attacked by a goose for no reason. Hey, you got bread, bro? Give me that bread, bro! Come on, bro! Bro! Ah! Help me, Officer Goose Fear! It's the Joe Show! Starring Joe! Doing all sorts of Joe things! Not your average Joe! And also, he can walk! How do you do it? What's your process? Oh, God, Allison, how do I even answer that? Uh, I mean... What's a rainbow's process? Two parts rain, one part sun, one part childlike wonder. What we do know, though, is that the end result in both cases is joy. Hello, Alan Bennett. Fantastic play. And I'm Yasmina Reza. Oh, are you his night nurse? No, I'm a playwright. I wrote Art and God of Carnage. I won a Pulitzer. You, you want to say your grade point average, too? We now return to the dyslexic baseball wrap-up. And the Unark Nankies have eaten the Altimore Boreals knife to foo here at Yamden Cards. The Boreals now lace a fong toad rip where they'll face the Sed Rocks, the Revel Days, and the Jew Blaze. What? Um, I said, I, I don't know what I said. Sounded like you said you were in love with Ringo. Um, I don't, I don't think so. Pretty sure you said I'm in love with Ringo. Here I am. Are Paul and John out there? Nope, just Ringo. 
jerk, Glenn Quagmire. Oh, honey, I'm so excited to finally meet your girlfriend. Here she comes now. Yoo-hoo, baby! Oh, no! Dive bars. Dive bars are my favorite. They're so much better than regular bars because worse is better. I know, right? They're my favorite, too. I'm quirky like that. I've got quirky taste. I'm a quirky girl. It seems like we would be perfect for each other. But really, we're terrible for everyone. Hey, Mac, you here for the expired hot dogs? No, Carl, I'm looking for Chris. I've looked everywhere and I can't find him. Huh, I haven't seen him, but I'll keep an eye out. Hey, bozos, what do you think of this? <laughs> I did it! I did it! You're crazy, man! You're so crazy! <laughs> hey, tweet, tweet! Check out my expensive fountain! I am a falconer, and I will eat whatever Xerxes brings me. Feed master! Peanut, what the hell? As a pig, I am very dirty and should not be touched by humans. <laughs> you get out of here! I'll kill you! But come back tomorrow, same time. I get very sad on Sundays when you're not here. Don't listen to that, Peter! That Peter is a liar! Run! Be free! They will enslave you! <laughs> Tom, I don't think the government was requiring you to wear a suit. Well, they were stopping me from punching you in the face. Is that what you want? No, you know what? You know what? Give me your wallet. What? You heard me. I said, give me your wallet. This is a crappy wallet. You have bad stuff. The field is teeming with men in helmets who don't seem like they need helmets, and men not in helmets who seem like they probably should be wearing helmets. Oh, he's badly to clear out of the stadium. Is that good? We don't know, but it's what we do. Yeah! Yay! Oh. Oh. Yo, 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 Peter G, what's happening, dog? Huh. Sideways hat robin. Dear God, no! <laughs> Gonna have some hot tea, baby, this morning. Ah! Run, run for us, run! run! Oh, eggs. Who came first, the chicken or the porn star? Oh, the porn identity. Who am I? Oh, yeah, the pizza man. Bucka chicka bow wow. Oh, oh. No. 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 I think it's in March. <laughs> Stewie, are you crazy? That's so loud. The guards will hear. Don't worry about it, Brian. Hey, what's going on down there? Nothing. All right. I have a time machine. You do? Yeah, you want to see it? Yes, I want to see it. Better luck next time, pal. Some people got moves, others don't. Been that way forever. You. Me. Sex. Him legend. You should see the way I have to pick up chicks. Hi. <laughs> Standing here with these kids, waiting for the song to end. Yankee Doodle went to town. Now I know my ABCs. Meow. Purr. Purr. I think you're dreaming. No, I'm not. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, I see. Rupert, the man from the newspaper would like a quote from you about my dancing abilities. Ugh, you look like a nude Larry David. No! 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 Oh my god, Super Mario! What are you doing here? I jump on a turtle, Stewie. It's not an exciting life, but it is my life. Hey, Brian, check it out. Meg's poking around the cargo hold. I'm gonna give her a little scare. Okay, that's two down, guys. Two outs. Two out of the three outs required. Okay, guys, let's go. Tom Brady is a quarterback. Okay, heads up. Two down. College football is on Saturday. Okay, come on. Look alive. NBA players are predominantly black. We won, you dicks. You suck. Um, excuse me. Would you mind keeping it down? We're having my son's birthday party over here. Yeah, sure, 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 honey. What's his name? Mikey. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mikey. Yeah! Hey, Horace, get that wiener out of your hand and give us three more beers over here. Ha, <laughs> Lois, you're always giving me the business. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Horace, why don't you take that wiener out of your hand and give me a beer? Don't talk to me that way, you son of a bitch! To the clown! Yo, what? your hair looks stupid.
One more push. Uh, there we go. It's a boy. And he's got a gun! <laughs> Dad, my favorite hen laid this crazy looking egg! Here. Don't look at us, you pig. Take your juicy sweatpants and your dirty pillow from home and your bucket of coke and get the hell out of my sight. What was her problem? So, you made your money in business? Where's your room, handsome? Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? You... What? Why? Congratulations, you are now a member. Oh my god, really? And to think yesterday I was just a guy at home eating catnip. We now return to Game of Thrones on BET. I got a big ass coat, chair to sit in, Chavez cup of wine, and a midget. Thank you. Clementine? None for me, thanks. Clementine? Yes, thank you. Do they need